Hey, we're here on the Stogie Geek Show. The live stream can hear us now. We're ready to have a rocking good time. This is episode 32. That's good, we're huh? smoking on band-aids. We got a long list of cigars. We got plenty of scotch water in a really cloudy studio right now as everyone is yes, here yeah. in studio. <laughs> cloudy more ways than once. Sitting across me, Mr. The One, The Only, The Infamous, Stogie Santa. Good evening. In the house. In the house. And all jacked up on cold medicine. Yeah. yeah. Sudafed and high. <laughs> I was telling you, this is, this is the one you want to listen to, folks. I get a feeling it's going to get interesting. Oh. Mr. Tim Margarini's here Peace. in the studio. How's everybody doing? Doing my fantastic. Sort of fed brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all jacked up, too. <laughs> Mark Jr.'s here. Well, hello. <laughs> and, of course, Ben is here with us. The Adderall brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the, you got the Sort of fed brothers, the freaking Adderall brothers. <laughs> Okay, it's only 15 seconds. Yeah. Right. It's an upper crew. <laughs> it's an upper crew. <laughs> so then we got the nicotine from the cigars, but we're bringing it all down with some fine scotch. Oh, what does everyone think of the great. scotch? What from do we, I, what I, it's awesome, man. I, I, oh, go ahead. Uh, Tim's going to... Uh, Tim, tell us what we're drinking. We're drinking the Balvini Double Wood 17 Year, which I did not even knew existed until tonight. Not very rare. It's, it's only yeah. got like four cases in. Well, it is fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah. Extra age definitely smooths it, it out. Is that a nice long finish, or it's, mm. you know? Well, I can't wait to try it next. Yeah, I can't wait to try the uh, cognac. Yeah, well, you yeah, cognac looks What really is the nice cognac well. again? It is Pierre Ferrand. It's a uh, cigar cognac. It's Grand Champagne. Uh, truth be told, I'm not a cigar uh, or a cognac aficionado by any stretch of the imagination. You're a cigar aficionado. Uh, I, I Pseudo. I suppose. A pseudo veteran. <laughs> <laughs> Adderall king. <laughs> a pseudo but, veteran. but it's delicious, and, and we're having some fun tonight. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's, um, what are we smoking? We're smoking two different unbandits. Uh, okay. Why don't you tell us who gave us these while I get some stuff set up for you? Okay. Right. No problem, Wowie. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I need two hands to type. Paul and Stokie Santa are uh, smoking an unbanded given to us by Big Pete, correct? And uh, Ben, Mark Jr., and I are smoking the C Unbanded, given it to us by listener Alex, um, a.k.a. MW Label a LaBelle on BLTO. What up? Yeah, yeah, um, now, it looks like they're actually uh, pretty close in size, mm. both cigars. Both know, Coronas, both definitely. Both Coronas. Um, Different well, rap. Yeah, ours is a slightly darker wrapper. I'd say more. I got some nice spice off mine in the beginning. Yours? I can't place it yet. Spice, I, little to- is it toasty? Yeah, it goes in a, and out. Yeah. yeah I, I, see, There's I, a flavor there that is very enjoyable. I was going to say something right off the bat, and I'm holding my tongue mm. on that one now. Mine's very medium. I got a little bit of a spice on the outsides of my tongue, but it's a very medium-bodied smoke, but uh, got some nice woody flavors in them. What you got out of this, Ben? Uh, uh, it's on the pretty front, enjoyable so far. Ran the lit, I, I got a little hint of tea. That's what I got. But now I'm getting uh, um, like coffee. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Wow. I was going to say, I'm getting a little coffee now. Yeah. Um, it's good. I, I'm it's not smooth. getting any coffee off of it. There's no coffee to speak of no. in ours. So. Yeah. How are you doing on that, Paul? Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm getting, it, uh, I'm getting it up on the screen over okay, here. Okay, on the screen. On the screen but yeah, we're so I'll take this opportunity. Oh, go ahead. go ahead. I was just going to say, we're about a half inch now into the smoke, so we'll mm-hmm. see where it goes, you know? Cool. It's burning good. Uh, so it might it's be very a, good, actually. So I think it either is... Uh, so who sent us the uh, one that you're smoking, Tim, again? Alex S., a.k.a. M.W. Liddell. On and um, Big Pete, as we mm. call him, uh, sent us this unbanded yes. a while ago, and I apologize for yes. taking so long to... <clears throat> yes. But now that all of us are in the studio, all the unbandings that we had from listeners, we could break them out because we're all here, so... Yep, having we, a great time. We figured, you know, we'll do it all in one shot. And so the person that sent us people. one of them, I don't know if it's uh, Alex... Alex. Alex or Pete uh, is in the chat room. So thank you very much, guys, for sending us cigars. Sorry. What up? I love doing the Unbandeds. We hadn't done them in some time. Tim was like, hey, do you want to do... Another cigar? Do you want to do no, bandits? I'm like bandits. we haven't done unbandits in so long. I'm like, we got it. We got to do it. We got to do it. Absolutely. So we're doing it now. And big props and to both here. Alex actually sent us four different unbandits, so we'll we'll hit some of those other ones. On <laughs> as show. we get down to the final third of our, and they're all the, the same size. I mean, mm. even though we're two different unbandits, yep. they're mm. both Corona size. Yep. So we're probably going to all finish around the same time. We're pretty close, and then we'll do the guessing. And the thing on the show uh, today is. 
whoever guesses correctly, or the first person to guess correctly, I guess if multiple people guess correctly, I'm, I'm really screwed. Yeah. I think I do have uh, two of the uh, Padron 45th Anniversary Maduros uh, in my uh, portable humidor. So the first person to guess correctly of the Stogie Geeks crew gets one of those cigars. I figured to mix it up a little bit. Why not? Let's make it spicy. Let me, yeah, let's spice spicy. it up. I tell you what, though, we, <laughs> like need to make it, uh, we need to make it less smoky in here. So, Tim, why don't you... Um, I got it. Turn that fan on. <laughs> Can you see me? I can't see anyone. <laughs> I may have to open While it. you do this real quick, I'm going to give a shout-out to listener Adam, uh, ATL and B-O-T-L. Uh, hooked me up this week uh, with some bombs. Uh, you'll be seeing those as reviews as uh, time goes on. Thank you very much, Adam. And... Uh, as a side note on that, guys, uh, spend some time on some of the forums. BOTL, Cigar Pass. They're really Those awesome places. The two that we really uh, enjoy. Yeah. Participate yeah. in. They're really awesome. They're really awesome places to, to meet a couple people, try some new smokes, learn about some new smokes. Yeah, Tim, I'm sorry. Uh, so I apologize to all the listeners. You can shut that heater off right there. Push the power button on that bad boy. Upper, upper left-hand corner of the... Nope. Upper left... No, no, not that button. That's not a button. That's just a light. But yeah, over the past couple of years, the I've one made some with really... the, the yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and take one. that, that tube out of the window. Open up that window all the way. Yeah, and then put the fan on uh, the highest speed. It should be a three. Will show up in the. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> can't breathe in here. There's small. five people smoking in a very small. Uh, excuse me. This is spacious, Paul. It's spa- oh, yeah. spacious. It's plenty of room. We're good. And hopefully that's exhausting out. And hopefully, oh, yeah. hopefully in a minute or two we'll be able to see each other. <laughs> the tech guy has fi- figured out how to use the fan. Yeah, it's uh, you know. I'm it's, sorry, it's not a firewall. If it was a firewall, it'd be all right. It would be all set. <laughs> Alrighty, Tim. Why don't you uh, start us off with? Uh, your first smoke that you see up there on the screen behind you, which you have to turn around to look oh, at. Oh, you're going but... the opposite order of me. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let me uh, pull it up on my screen. So I revisited, did a redo on both the Viaje Skull and Bones Daisy Cutter and the original mystery release from 2010. Nice. Um, last ones of Or you. You have to smoke these smokes just for the benefit of our listeners. I, you know, somebody's got to do it, man. That's right. Throw yourself yeah, man. on the tracks. Yeah. Uh, I would say, you know, both smoking great, but in terms of flavor, hands down, the Daisy Cutter is the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one and only. It, it, it always has been. Um, although I'll tell you, they're both packing a punch still, both of them. Um, there's no doubt. Uh, Daisy Cutter, winner with a box worthy. Um, really, if you have them, smoke them if you got them. They're smoking great right now. So Nice. Uh, first of all, my list is uh, one that uh, probably most of us have smoked. That's the, because uh, we split, I think, uh, Mark Jr., Stokey Santa, just the three of us. Uh, which one are we talking about? T-A-A. This is the Tatawahe TAA oh, yeah, 2012. T-A-A. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, I thought it was really good, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I, 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 I fired mine up, uh, was it Friday? <laughs> I had uh, I one of the best uh, Pete Johnson cigars to come out in some time with that classic Pete. I, I got that classic Tatawahe. Mm-hmm. Pete Johnson kind of flavor profile. I prefer it over 2011s. That's uh, so, a couple TAs people have said that. Yeah. 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 I it's the same it. thing, but different, but, uh, different size. But I don't know. It's to, uh, to me. So I did you size smoke? matters. Listen to the ladies, fellas. Yeah, okay. Did you smoke your Stogie Santa? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and so what did you think of it? It was good. Yeah, I, I, it, wanted, was good. I yeah, it, it, was, it didn't blow me no, away. No, I mean, it's, yeah, it's okay. It, it was good. I, it had that yeah. you know, little bit of that sweetness in it, too. I picked up on it. I, you know, I a little bit in, in the front end of the cigar. In the middle, I got a little... Disenchanted, it, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I, don't know I thought you... it had very some pretty bold flavors though, mm-hmm. but not unbalanced. No. Yeah. Nope. Mark Jr. Um, I really enjoyed mine. I thought it had that typical Nicaraguan profile. Mm-hmm. A little uh, zing. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness, but you know, with a balanced spiciness to mm-hmm. it. I would agree that the middle was a little boring, but yeah. I did think the beginning and the end were good. Right. Yeah. Yep. Which, I, I can deal with that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like playing music, man. You know, it's exactly. Start and exactly. I was going to say, yeah, that's yeah, what my yeah. uh, guitar instructor taught me is always open strong and end strong. And everybody my else. wife told me too. <laughs> <laughs> she's your music instructor? <laughs> yes. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah, she's blind. Well, I'll tell you, what, I haven't smoked the 2012 yet, but the 2011, a lot of people said that it was a cross between the pork tenderloin and the Barclay Rex. Would you guys? Ooh. I don't. I don't know about no, that. No, 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 no. 
I, yeah. No, no, no. I, the I, fact I, that I don't really remember the 2011 and I probably did smoke it is probably pretty telling. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you remember the flavors of the other two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah without, I think the Barclay Rex exactly. is one oh, of yeah. Ben's favorites. Uh, Barclay Rex. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. the pork tenderloin's outrageous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, those were. Uh, I wish I could get more of those. I got one left. I'm waiting for the, waiting for the right time. <laughs> it will come. <laughs> Burn that sucker. Yeah. I'm going to. Enjoy it. We can get more. Or trade it. Light with, it on fire. Or trade it with me for something you want even yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about no? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we, we'll trade. <laughs> we'll trade? Okay. You got it. You got it. I got a little bit left. <laughs> um, we're going to talk a lot about Davidoff. I see you have it on your list. I've got a I couple do. on my list. Yeah. I did the uh, Millennium Robusto for the first time in quite some time, actually. Yeah. Well, there was that aged ones we had a while ago. Oh, those old sixes. No, what, what, yeah. what, what, what year is this one? That you this saw? was brand new. Oh, this okay. was a gift from the dude that I ride the train with. You know, the train yeah. that you want to be on. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'll tell that. you what, though, man. It smoked great. Um, you know, definitely some of that typical Davidoff flavor, but... A lot more strength, a lot more flavor than I think your typical Davidoff. So, do you find in the first third you kind of get these pungent aromas and it settles down? Yeah, I did notice that yeah. actually. It's been a while since I smoked the it. The newer but. Davidoff, because I smoked it. So, my story is I got, um, uh, what do you call it when you like speak somewhere and they give you a gift? What is that called? Um, a gift. A gift. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called honorarium? Payment. It's called, it's called not being paid. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's called an honorarium, right? Yeah. Is that yes, what's called? Okay. So I got an honorarium for, for speaking. And, uh, you know, I opened up the, the envelope and it had uh, a, a gift card, an MX gift card in it. Nice. I'm like, sweet. And I'm like, looking nice. around. No one's home. No one knows I have this gift. And I went right to the cigar store. Yeah. <laughs> no. like, I'm going to treat myself. Yep. And that's, I bought a bunch of different uh, Davidoffs Very nice. with it. So, but I noticed that the ones that did not have seemed to have a lot of age on them had a very pungent, grassiness yes. type aroma. And not even the first third. I mean, I would say maybe like the first. It was in, the opening. Yeah, it was the, the opening. opening. With yeah. a, just like, and that's like, it made me nervous. It, it did. It made like, me nervous oh, too. I, but I, then I it settles want, down. I and just it, want a good cigar, please. And, it know, settles yeah. down and it's completely not that cigar. <laughs> so I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it as well. <laughs> You're right over there. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, don't uh, vomit. Oh, don't come vomit. On. Come on. No, no. <laughs> we got a bucket in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the bucket. <laughs> Mark Jr., yeah. take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your hands out like this. Yeah. Dude, if that happens, there's going to be two of us. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. There'll be three. <laughs> it's going to be like that episode of Family Guy <laughs> when they take out <laughs> <up> the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever oh, seen that yeah. episode of Family Guy when they take out the cat and they're yeah. all puking? On it. <laughs> Anyone no, want some chowder? <laughs> no. no God, this is going to be a long night. I can, I can feel yeah, it. I can it's feel coming. it. Uh, so, Tatawahe, Little Drac. I just love everything about this yeah, cigar. I, I agree. Smoke. The size, the, the shape, the flavor, the burn, construction, the everything is my favorite in the Halloween Little Monster series. Yep. Hands down. I liked it better than the, the regular <laughs> Drac that you had given mm-hmm. me. I, I just thought I had everything going for it. A good amount of strength, great flavors. I could have a little I had, odd I had, sweetness on that. There's a little, yeah, there's a little bit sweetness absolutely, absolutely. that absolutely. I can't place on that absolutely. smoke. But, uh, I rated this, like if I could buy a whole box of just these, I would buy a whole box of just these. You're going to think I was saying crazy. You know what I thought? I think I love you. think I'm nuts. Molasses. <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah. No, that, yeah, I don't think you're that far off. Uh, you man. know what I mean? It, yeah. it is. It's just because the first one I had, everything was great about it. Then I got down to the last inch and a half to it gets a little funky yeah it got a little funky yeah. <laughs> same thing happened to me with the with the full size track though too. yeah it was like a the end funk- wasn't great yeah but but still a really awesome smoke not I complaining thought. oh it's well worth it. i would buy well a box. oh yeah i like the 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 frank jr yeah oh good. yeah those yeah. were my favorite the, ri- the original franks were just the best of his monster series Hands yeah, down. Yeah. I tell you what, I finally though, get to cross that one off on my yeah. list. A lot of the uh, uh, little monsters have been re-released to a lot of different stores. Mm-hmm. And I know here locally we can buy them for, what is it, $70? Uh, $70, yeah. $70. And we've got 100 boxes in. Yeah. <clears throat> buy a couple of boxes. Buy one to age, one to smoke. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's true. Buy them while you I did that the first time, and I might do it again. And now, <laughs> <laughs> but now if you've got your favorites and your friend has the opposite favorites, you can buy some and split them. Mm. Right. Yeah. 
So that's why I I'll trade off what you don't want. Yeah, and then we can yeah. trade the empty boxes. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? I don't know. I don't want uh, empty boxes. Nobody want... traded the empty mummy box for mm. Liga Pavada number nine. Flying no, we're not saying <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got Tim, a... uh, you had a, a tramp stamp. Yeah, I got a lot of Pete Johnson on here this week. You have a tramp a stamp? A lot. Yeah, you want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'll stop puking. <laughs> hold, 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 hold this cigar. Wait, that's not a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a pencil. <laughs> oh, this show's going to be good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I've um, I, I've had a lot of the new Pete Johnson stuff in the last couple of weeks. Mm. Um, he started the new company um, with a couple other gentlemen, one of them being his from an HC, New Havana Cigars. And his brother. Yeah. And his brother. Right, correct. Chris. Mm. Uh, I believe it's La Ata, La Talia. Yeah. That's how you pronounce La it. Talia. La Talia. Thank you. <laughs> I try. It's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, my, wife, matter. my wife doesn't yeah. think so. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was a joke. I know. Mm-hmm. Not a yeah. good one. So yeah, I did the surrogate's tramp stamp. Um, yeah. Honestly, I absolutely love the smoke. Um, really good. Has a Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper, Nicaraguan fill and binders. It's a Corona Gorda at Roughly five and a quarter by 48. Um, really nice dark flavors of espresso, some pepper on the first half, and then I got some leather and oak and pepper on the second half. Performance was an A+. I say it's a definite five. I, in, in Tim's defense uh, on the name, uh, name it something that doesn't sound all French and weird. Like, what's wrong with <laughs> surrogate's tramp stamp? I mean, yeah, well. this is cigar smoking, right? It's not... Freaking wine or champagne or anything. Well, sissy like that. I don't know about Pete Johnson, though. He is a French wine guy. He is a French wine guy. That's where he's coming right. from, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. Anyway. L'Atelier the, means uh, the workshop for anybody mm-hmm. who's wondering. Well, maybe we should name this the L'Atelier. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. Go- no. Never. No, no, no. You're, you're going to have. Uh, no, 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 we no, are no, not no, French no, wine guys. No. We, 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 I'm not gonna go there. Uh, <laughs> I'll just leave that. You don't want you don't want the lawyers in the dark helicopter coming in and parachuting in, right? There'll yeah. be some uh, <laughs> little skirts you can put on before you go into the atelier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what did you rank this? Uh, this is the five. You got a five. Right? Fiver. Okay. Yeah, I said a five. No, are these the lower priced um, no. budget six that you came no, out? No, no, no. These were like eight bucks no. a piece. Yeah, around yep. thirty bucks each. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay. It's one of the surrogates I smoked. We'll get to the other one. So, okay. And thanks to Big Al, these were um, these are all birthday gifts from him. So Big Al, <coughs> but. I smoked the Quesada coup d'état Daga, Daga, as we say, Daga, like Daga, a, a gag. And, Well, you know, this is made to pronounce in Rhode Island. It's, yeah. it's got A's, it's Rhode Island, and, and no R. Yeah. yeah, it's got no R's in it. They already they took the R's off yeah, for right. us, so we didn't have to. Um, the flavors were great, but the smoking experience and construction was just. Hot. I and, one now, Ben, yeah. you smoked one, and you came to the same conclusion I did. That the construction was just terrible. Yeah, a- any type of issue that you would ever think uh, uh, that you would have with con- construction, the cigar had. So yeah. I, th- yeah. I could just say that it was like tight draw. Then there was a void. Mm-hmm. Then canoe. Canoe. How was- far did you? How long did it last before you threw it away? Uh, I smoked mine a good hour and a half. I keep thinking that like maybe I'm yeah. past the construction problem. No. I smoked mine for almost no. t- an hour and forty five minutes. <laughs> 20, I um twenty minutes. I top my list too, <laughs> and I found it very t- tight draw. That I, it, tighter than I prefer. Now, yeah. interesting that there is a review um, from someone who I, I do trust his opinion. Acigarsmoker dot com. Right. Great blog. Uh, he reported he got one that said it had great construction and gave it a fantastic review. Gave it like a, a ninety five or something wow. like that. And I would a, reconsider. I would my, put that in the. No, well, no, yeah, I would reconsider my rating if I got one that burned correctly, and it mm. presented those flavors, which I could tell were there, but just weren't coming through because construction. No, problems. no. It, it, in his defense or your defense or whatever, look at the new Alex Bradley um, fine and rare. I had a gentleman at the shop two times. He just couldn't get keep the thing lit. It canoed. It did the same thing. Yep. He's the only one. Everybody else has really raved about the cigar. So you know. It, sometimes you need, to, uh, as everyone knows, at least two, three, four yeah, cigars. It's on my list. Yeah. No, I put. No, it's interesting you Excuse say me, that. Please. I say try one. Maybe we need a rating that says try uh, one until exact. one smokes, right? Yeah, but I, I, I said the know. exact same thing I, because yeah. honestly, I wasn't a fan of the flavor profile, but I think it's just not my flavor profile. Mm-hmm. I think other people would enjoy it, assuming it burns right. Mm. Um, I mean, they, maybe it, it's. I think we all got it from the same place, same box, probably. So yeah. maybe it was just a bad batch. It could have been. Yeah, I was know. thinking that too. Uh, that's just like the. Uh, oh God, move on. 
Uh, over to you, Tim. All right, next one on my list. Sorry, I was skipping around with that uh, quesada, so. Ah, the mummy. We all got our mummies this week, right? This oh, past I, week. I love your Halloween. Your pictures are awesome on this, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's uh, my wife forcing me to go to Home Depot and buy festive things for the deck. Um, love you, honey. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I, I thought it had a nice combination of cedar, some light spice, some creaminess to it. I will say it's not my Vitola. It's mm-hmm. a two-hour smoke for me. I tend to get bored with mm. two-hour smokes. Uh, I would reach for the minimum before I reach for this again. Yeah. Um, I thought the flavors were a little bit more pronounced than the minimum, and well, I enjoyed the smoke. And we were just having this conversation before the show. I think we're all kind of in the same boat with larger cigars. It's just not our thing to have a mm. cigar that's going to last two hours. They have to yeah. really blow me away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really be good. On a regular yeah. basis. <laughs> now, what was that? Was it the um, a lever? Maduro, you gave us a while back the big Corona. Yeah, corona. the president. The o? The, no, the o? it was a, no. a series. G, 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 G Maduro. G Maduro Presidente, they call that. Now, that was one. I had no trouble smoking that for two <laughs> hours. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, even well, though the 184s. Yeah, 184 is another example. So there are certain ones. The, that Solom- will, the LFD Salomones, if you can get one that burns well. Yeah. They're yeah. awesome smoke. But now back to the the mummy, Tim. I think you hit the nail on the head. I kept saying it was smooth, but I think there is a creaminess. It's a smooth Definitely. and creamy. On the tone. It's a, on the it's tone a smooth of and creamy smoke. I mean, that's really the the kind of experience it presents. And it wasn't really the flavors that blew me away. It was that smoothness and that creaminess that really kept yes. my attention. And it was it. also very different than the other uh, Halloween that's what releases, it is. Exactly. which I thought yes. was kind of cool. It's a. It's a good cigar. It's an easygoing cigar. It's mm. easy to smoke <laughs> without having to think about it too much, I thought. Um, and I think it's based on the black blend, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, I did get some of that flavor, but with a different wrapper, it definitely mm. changes it up. Um, in the end, I said box split because the box of 10, oh, that's box of 13. Yeah. Um, whatever, whatever happened. Well, the dress is 13, the undress Yeah. 10. So, uh, I mean, it, it can't go wrong. It's a good cigar. I agree with your rating. Split a box for the friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is what yeah, I did. I definitely agree. So. Yeah, everybody's after the dress box more so than anything else. Yes, as, as anyone's. And I, I mean, I do understand that. I mean, for me, it's kind of like I want to smoke the cigar. Like what it comes in is less important to me. But yeah, I was kind of psyched to get one. It's the first dress box that is. I've gotten, yeah. so I'm yeah. kind of psyched to have the box. To yeah. be honest, it's a cool box, man. I'll say that much. They did a nice job. It's a very so. nice yeah. presentation mm-hmm. and very well thought out with the uh, foam styrofoam yeah. at the foot of the cigars. What, what an interesting. Um, now, did we figure out the? Yes. Okay. Okay. What he was going to do, he being Pete Johnson, was going to put tissue on all the cigars. Yep. But the price would have been a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So what he did, he stopped at that idea and decided, okay, I'm going to put a wrapped or a tissue on one cigar. It's per the box. mummy in the middle of all, all his right. surrounding materials. Right. right. That's the idea. Oh, so that cigar is not special in any way, shape, or form. Not Other than it's wrapped, yeah, it's wrapped in paper. You know, yeah. this way here. It's more presentation, I think, than anything. <clears throat> if you're on a long ride, you got to go somewhere, you need some toilet paper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping there was like a different case of tissue you blow on those, you know. Whatever. I, blow uh, whatever. I, I was hoping that it was a different wrapper, like it was something yeah. special about I meant to, it. I meant to uh, text you on that one. I found that out about yeah. 15 minutes later. And gotcha. Every, something, to, something to talk about, smart. Yes. Uh, it's so, um, just, we didn't talk about wrapper binder filler on the cigars we talked about so far, but we're, uh, we're, on, on, we're on a roll. The last any, one. But anyway, it doesn't matter for some of them. Okay. Uh, Paul Camarian Soiree Short Robusto. Um, yeah. Stokey yeah. and I both, yeah. uh, smoked this one. I mean, this is just, it pours smoke. Oh. I mean, huge clouds of smoke. Burns great. It delivers what I thought was a very unbalanced representation of, a few different flavors. Predominantly, I got a wood, almost cedar kind mm. of flavor Flat. from it. Uh, it but yeah, but there, it, it was, to me, that flavor overpowered mm. and didn't balance right. well with the rest of the That's, that's the about cigar. the biggest key. Yeah, I think there's other subtle flavors there, mm. but it wasn't balanced enough where you could get not all those subtleties. Right, not like the Reserver. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. I was really disappointed in the cigar. It's, it's a 4 by 50 uh, Dominican uh, Republic's where it's made. It's a Nicaraguan um, uh, wrapper, Dominican Republic uh, binder, and the filler is Dominican Republic. It's priced out at around $9 a stick as retail. 
Uh, it is not worth no. nine. I mean, I'd say try one just to, so. I mean, it's yeah. a short robusto. Yep. If you can get it at less than nine dollars, preferably. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you really have to make a decision between like buying this and another nine dollar cigar, go buy another nine dollar no. cigar <laughs> all day <laughs> long. Or like the Symphony Twenty uh, short robusto is, yeah. I think, a much better. Oh, oh yeah, I absolutely. Love that smoke. Yeah. yeah, the Symphony line is. Uh, yeah, definitely one of his better lines. This soiree, that, that is, is and he'll say line. he'll say it too, man. That's yeah, his, that's, that's his, his work of art. But and I had high hopes for. I don't know why. I just I like the short robusto size. I like Paul's Mary. It's funny because I got a um, PG short robusto on my my list too. But we'll get there. Okay, like a different one. But we'll get there. so I said, tr- like I said, try one, maybe. So back Tim. to Pete Johnson again. Um, now this is the budget smoke out of his new lines. It's oh, okay. The El Suelo. Terreno, I believe. Terreno. Oh, wait, did I go past it? No, nope, that's it right that's there. That's it right Got there. It. Okay. Um, so, uh, buddy at work bought a whole box of these. I believe there's 20 in a box for a little over $60. So it worked out to be a $3.75 of smoke. Um, construction. Is I, this a, a bundle or a box? It's a bundle. Bundles. Is it a bundle? It's a bundle. bundle. Okay, yeah, it's a bundle. I Positive. Apologize. All right. Um, worked out to be 375 a smoke. Performance was perfect on both sticks that I smoked. Um, some nice, good, broadleaf type Nicaraguan flavors, coffee spice, um, especially towards the <clears> midpoint. <throat> it got a little funky in the last third, especially when it got down to the end and it started getting a little hot. But for a budget smoke, man, other than maybe a Padron, you really can't go wrong. Um, so I said box split. I so, a, 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 a bundle split in this case. So. So I heard that these are actually not short filler. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're right. actually B tobacco. That's right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. With, what's interesting, grade. Kim, is I, I'm curious to see how it compares to I give you two sticks, mm-hmm. both Ambos Mundos, yep. both B grade tobacco, one old like cellophane and the band is mm-hmm. even old. I mean, it's just, it's ancient. And then a newer one. Okay. Um, and I want you to smoke both of them and, and get your opinion. And curious to see how it compares to this one because like I said, they're both... To, from totally the same, different. same factory, right? I mean, Pete had his from hand in memory. Blending. I would say it's equivalent to yeah. those, but it's been a while since I've had those. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, and I was curious to give you an aged one and a newer one to see what the differences yeah, are yeah, between the two, and then yeah. see what the difference are between some of his new. Which one is it? The uh, Sumatra or the uh, Haba- uh, Habano? Yeah. Um, I, I gave you both. Yeah, they're, I don't know. You have to you have to research that. Yeah, okay. you'll see it. Right, we'll, we'll tell you right on the band. Yeah, interesting. And those are around the same price point, around three dollars a yep. stick. So. Thank you, by the way. Very good. Yeah, you're welcome. Like I said, I was curious to see how what you think of the difference between... How's everybody's on bandits doing? I was just going to ask yeah. the thing. Um, I, I, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. It, it just reminds me of a, of a pepine. It really does. I, I'm going to go that way. Now, this is big Pete. I do I'm get a it. hint of... Now that you say that... It's a little bit of a hint of pepper yeah. that you get from it. Yeah, more so now. I, lo- yeah. I lost it. Yeah, I got it in the first so spot and lost yeah. it. And I got that almost like. There's a know, sweetness tobac- that, yeah. There's a sweetness that comes and goes. Yeah. Flavor. I mean, it was, it was smoking a tobacco, but you know what I'm saying. No, you, there's tobacco is definitely yeah. a flavor. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying, well, I'm going to go out and tell. I'm going to say mine's a pepine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you there. Because as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, yeah, that is pepper. Mm. <laughs> But I'll tell you, the stick, that, uh, the the stick I really enjoyed, the new L- Ludwig, the uh, Box Press um, uh, Oktoberfest, oh, like Quesada, okay. really yeah. nice. Nice. Nice smoke. It, 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 box Press just changes the flavor so much. Now, do you I guys so have too. the short Robusto in the uh, no. Oktoberfest? Not yet. That's coming in. Well, I'd be okay. interested in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got, What's I'm, the price point of that, do you know? That, that should be anywhere from, I would say, five to six bucks. Nice. Tops. I have a couple in my humidor I picked up somewhere. Oh, I was like, oh, I didn't know they made that. Yeah, I didn't know they did. Oh, cool. I tell you, that box press is my, uh, I, I'm going to say right now it's my favorite one. Really? Even more than the Bavarians? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, Neat. try it. Yeah, you have try. to try it. Ben, you're quiet over there. How's your own banded, man? It's good. It's good. Uh, We're coming all right. What's yours? You, I know you already made your mind up as soon as you lit it up. I, could, I just, well, I think I know Ben's. It was made in the My Father factory. That's what I'm, I'm putting on. Uh, I think it, it was uh, rolled on a Tuesday yeah. by a woman with a mustache. I think yes. it, I think it's I think it's a, I think it's a Pete Johnson. The, the C right here. Yeah. I'm not sure which one, but I'm I'm getting that idea. I'm not sure it's Pete Johnson, but I would agree with the My Father factory. No. And I think I may have smoked this before, but I can't place it. So. I could agree with it simply because the construction on this thing is awesome. Yeah. True. The burn's been oh, awesome. Oh, look at it. Oh, that same thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, though. The scotch has killed my... Um, it doesn't have that 
pepin like taste to it to me though. It doesn't have like a ton of pepper. It does, it's you know. not the flavors are not well, pronounced up <clears throat> front like you, a pepin guys, would be. You two, Paul and Mark, you have different cigars, right? Yes. Yeah, us three yes. have the same yeah, ones. Uh, okay, right. so that 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 you your factory could be no, could yeah, be completely we're, separate yeah, we're cigars. smoking a different cigar. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All the factories would be the same. Although my I, father I, factory is a pe- is the pepin factory. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Right. If I had a guess on the wrapper, I would just say Habano or yeah. Uh, okay, I could go with that. Yeah, with the color and the flavor—that's what I'm kind of getting. Yeah, feel I could for. dig that. Yeah. So, um, let's see. So, it's definitely not in the way. Has uh, has anyone else smoked the La Roma de Cuba Mi Amor Reserva? Yes. No, I have them, but I I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Uh, my assessment was: if you really like La Roma de Cuba, you'll which, love this. You'll love this. <laughs> this is by far the best representation of this. I brand. really enjoy the Mi Amor. So you're gonna love this. Yeah, I yeah. still like the uh, the belly. I still love the belly more. The original belly. I'll have to go smoke that because I, I tell you, I really, myself, I enjoyed yeah. it. I, and now flavor profile. I only smoked one. It was the smaller size. It was like the Corona size. Mm-hmm. I forget what they call that one. I don't think it's the Romantico is the Churchill. Yeah, I and there's other sizes names, too. But... Um, I can't pick all the flavors just yet. I do want to smoke more. I bought a kind of like a sampling of the different sizes. It's not a burden mm-hmm. on your wallet, right? What's no. the, the cost in these is not right. seven bucks. Yeah, around seven dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have a Mexican wrapper, correct? Yes. Yes. That's uh, correct. Mexican Cuban seed, uh, Oscuro, uh, yep. Nicaraguan binder and filler. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you like La Roma de Cuba, you're going to be buying yeah. a lot of these. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. Yeah. So All I think long. I'm going to smoke the one I bought this weekend and mm-hmm. make an assessment and go it, from there. So. It's a fiver. And, I mean, you may want a fiver of some different sizes mm-hmm. to further that, qualify that recommendation. Now, what sizes are there? Does anybody know? Or? What, on the uh, Reserva? Yeah. It's like a Corona they're, they're, Rebuso Churchill. Churchill, Toro. Like, Toro. Yeah. 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 Uh, they're, they're all, they, they don't come out and name it. They're all different names of what they are. You yeah. sent me a Corona Extra, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very, uh, speaking very of good. Coronas, Mark Jr. gave me the uh, short run, uh, oh, the Corona on that thing from Federal. Federal. Oh, my God. That's box worthy. Oh, yeah. Hands really? down. Dude, oh, kick ass. Oh. Federal Cigar has a E.P. Carrillo short run. It was a anniversary smoke for them. Not if a, I'm not mistaken. Not a new wave, but a regular short run. It has a black oh. label yep. on it like the older ones had. Awesome. It I, is I'll put it right awesome. there with the bum bones, if not really? better. Really? I don't um, know about better. Uh, well, I'll tell but you, I thought it, it was it, just as good. It's, it's yeah. equal. Yeah, e- yeah, absolutely. If someone said they like that, I, I don't know. It's like you could, if I didn't smoke from Bones, I would want it. You know, when you have yeah. them both, you say, I, I tell you, that Corona, I, I was burning my fingernail. Really nice that. guys down at that shop, mm-hmm. too. Really, really nice. Really good place. Oh, that, that, it is. Federal's top notch. Yep. Class. <laughs> class organization. Oh. Tim, over to you. Just like Stogie Geeks. So next one on my list. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, we're just a nice guy. We're not class, but we're all right. <laughs> we're nice guys. Yeah, all right. That's where we are. Get your hands off me. Gosh, hey. <laughs> Stogie Santa's is hitting me. Um, <laughs> Mom. Yeah. So PG 15th anniversary short Robusto. Speaking of short Robustos, uh, I grabbed one of these in a new shop I was at recently uh, up in uh, Boston. Um, hadn't had one, so I figured, hey, what the heck, I'll give it a try. Um, some strength on it that sneaks up on you. The flavor profile never went beyond medium. Good, smooth, you know, um, flavors. Good construction. I thought it was good, but not great. Maybe I'd grab a fiver again. Um, for the price point, Again, this was around nine to ten dollars a stick. Crazy. I would probably reach for the uh, Symphony Twenty. Oh, exactly. There's no doubt about that, it. That that price point, I mean, nothing. Not the anniversary. I got a little pepper off that too. Yeah, a little slight. The anniversary is a nice, nice smoke. But Tim elaborated on it is. It's a symphony, as everyone knows. Well, I'm sure in this room anyway. Paul Gamarian is a musician. He's played with a lot of known people. And that's the story of his life. And that symphony blend to me is it's it's just incredible. It's, it, it is. That's the, a, the I, anniversary I, I find to be good, but I find it like a, <clears throat> it's missing something. Yeah. Like there's just. I, I think it, if it I wasn't was the it, same price as the yeah. symphony, Bingo. you would, you would yeah. buy it, but it's love it, even, and talk about it until you know, you, the day you die. Yeah. But it's not even about price. I, I think the characteristics of the blend, to me, it feels like it's missing something. Okay. Well, do, do, just take the symphony out of the, out of the equation, right? Yeah, you still would smoke the anniversary, but I agree with Mark Jr. I wouldn't. If, it's purely being a price that point. Being that it's the exact same price, the, uh, uh, slightly I'm going higher. Symphony it's slightly always. higher. The price point set an expectation for me. 
Exactly. And my expectation exactly. was going to what I know that is the best that PG has done, yep. which is a Symphony 20. So mm. I do agree with you, though. I was expecting something more. No. And it just never Yeah, appeared. it just never go it, back to a two-hour yeah. smoke, the Salomon, yeah. on, on, on a Symphony. Oh, God. Oh, yes. man. My, my, Get out of here and you know that, what, dude. Oh. You know what's interesting is a lot of our listeners have heard us because there are certain sticks that we rave about, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our listeners have, you know, contact us and, and are just like, oh, my, thank you so much for that recommendation. <laughs> that has to be one of our, like, most... I recently just hooked up a, a yeah, listener like, with one highly, of those. And it's, I can't wait to hear what he has to say about it. Hopefully okay, he's listening. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. We've got to think of something. 50% off anyone that calls yeah. and orders in the next 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No, no. <laughs> Woo! If Way so, to go, right. Stoke and Santa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're in the well, shop tomorrow because I got to call you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to think of something for the listeners. We, we gotta, we gotta Let's do something. Let's get a contest going. Yeah, with we a symphony, should. I'll put one of each uh, of the symphonies together and we'll think of something by the end of the show. Like, you know, what's what's the name of our show? I don't know. Whatever. What's the <laughs> <laughs> name this episode. Yeah. <laughs> Who's what, the, what cigar will Paul talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, who will ash? Who's going to ash on himself first? I already asked myself. Me once. too. I did it twice. <laughs> so, I think, I think anyway, what's, what's what's on what's on our list next? So anyway, back to the anniversary. <laughs> I just wanted to get the um, the rapper's Nicaraguan. The binder and filler are five year old Dominican. So and he, that is a short row booster at four by fifty. And I'll, it's a it's a great it's a great cigar. Don't get me wrong. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step outside the lines and go this far. Now, when you think of Dominican and being top of the top of the line. I don't have to say this amongst everybody in here. Everyone thinks of Opus X. Hands down, right? I'm going to put Paul Gamarian's blends of Dominican just below that. That people, I mean, he, he, what he does with Dominican blends on cigars are outrageous. I agree. Unbelievable. I agree. Unbelievable. Yep. I would put it and the 100 Cien Anos. Oh, yes. Right below the Opus yes. X. Great point, Mark. I agree. Yep. That's a great, sorry, Tim. I would That's trade great, all my Opus X for those two. Done. Oh, speaking of that, you, you never, <laughs> <laughs> and and you know what? Just to prove everyone wrong, I do not have an Opus X on my list this week. But is that oh, 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 oh Jesus? Because you didn't smoke him. I set you guys up. This I'm is like, the I'm going to let like, them second, talk it up. This is the first show that you do not have an Opus X, I believe. Is that true? And by the way, happy Good anniversary because it's been one year this week. Really? For the, the podcast, show? yeah. Wow. Wow. I believe we recorded on the 27th of October. We should year. celebrate by all smoking cigars and drinking cigars <laughs> together. <laughs> hey, cheers. Hey. Cheers to that. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> We're well, all celebrating by drinking Paul Scotch. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, got, I just come up with a... Uh, here's for the listeners. For one each of the Paul Gamarian Symphony. The first one to to email Stokey Geeks at, at gmail.com. Gmail uh, okay, gmail.com. Thank you. And the J21 is made by Pete Johnson. What does the J21 signify? I don't know the answer. You're not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's that's our that's contest. the contest. And okay. okay, when when that's that's what it's we're going to do. It's and they're going to get one again. Last name. <laughs> Please. They're going to get what again? The, uh, a symphony, a connoisseur, and a robusto, and a short robusto. That's, that's their gift. Okay. That's the, not the gift. That's the, the prize. So whoever is the first listener to contact the show, what the J21 signifies, I'm sure almost everybody knows that, but just to throw it out. Very good. How's that? Fair enough? Fair, Fair enough. enough. Fair enough. It's on the table. It's on mm -hmm. the table. Um. Actually, Mark Jr. and I um, smoke the Davidoff uh, Culebra Special C. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, about I want to hear this. This is a uh, very nice presentation. Uh, the Culebra comes in its own coffin, uh, beautiful yellow ribbon. And it, I mean, it's kind of fun. I like to buy these because I think they're kind of fun, right? Like, you know, it's in its own coffin. You get to undo the ribbons, and they're all intertwined. Three cigars intertwined. It's like candy for uh, yeah. a cigar smoker. And then you take it out, and it's just like curvy thing, and you're like, this is never going to smoke right. And they usually smoke good. And they usually smoke fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Like, I don't know, maybe some cigars that have construction problems should think about rolling them in the Culebra style because they always seem to it smoke is, great for me. It's, uh, it's true. It's amazing. It is. It, well, I think what it is, too, is it's a very – Tough cigar to roll. So oh, my guess is Most some of their top rollers. Yes. Roll right. Right. Do you know where the Calibra came from? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Do the listeners know? Maybe not. <laughs> All right. So, so 
So Educators. back in the day when the rollers were rolling cigars, they were allowed to take one cigar home per day. Yeah. <laughs> so they came up with the Culebra, wrapped them all oh, under twine, yeah. made it one cigar. So they got to take home three, three instead of one. Right. I also read that it was to it was so that the factory owners knew that they were taking the right cigar home and not things that they weren't supposed to be taking home. So I'm not sure if that's, that part is true. But that's you know, what I heard with Mark. That's, okay, so it could be a well, combination of two. This is uh, true. I, I really enjoyed the smoke. It was very smooth. I got a touch of like earth, touch of sweetness. Um, it wasn't a grass fest like I thought it was going to really be. Awesome. I, I was off, really huh? expecting. It kind of smelled like it was going to be. Yeah, though. if you, yeah, if, if I, you sniffed yeah. the foot, it was. We're kind of like, oh, it's going to be really grass, that really now? grassy. Yeah, we, man, we sniffed gross. each other's feet first, okay, okay. then we sniffed got that gym bag smell. It was a hockey bag. It was a hockey bag. A lot of bonding, but it was a lot of fun. Smoke presentation, all that stuff. Um, <laughs> it was forty three dollars for a three cigar bundle, or forty three or fifty three. I don't remember what. I think you said it was fifty three, man. I've seen it as advertised as low as thirty something and as high as sixty something. I've never even seen these, so yeah. yeah. Um, the shop around us pretty much always has them. I, I linked to a cigar pass thread that has a lot more information about them. One of the things the thread says was they made them a, a while ago. They stopped making them for a while and they reintroduced them. Um, everyone kind of said the similar thing. I think to what Mark Jr. and I said was it's a great mild kind of smooth smoke, but really not worth the money. No, I wouldn't spend that kind of money on them. But, but, but like, it was really uh, awesome, and thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. And it was well, fun. I enjoyed the experience. Well, it was fun. Yeah, that was your experience. What was the pricing point? That was really great, wasn't it, uh, Tim? It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, great. Sorry, I only got one of these. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You always buy two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we get six cigars. Yeah, we'll have right. enough for everyone. I see. So, Come on. <laughs> um, try one. That's, a, that's what it's all about. Find, if you yeah. can find it a decent price, it's a fun thing to try. Right, exactly. Yeah, not Novelty. something you smoke on a so, regular right. basis. It's worth the experience. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So it's a coffin buy. Mm -hmm. It's coffin a one buy. coffin buy. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Tim, back to you. Yeah. All I right. like this call. Curvari Celestion Pravada Robusto in the natural raft bar. So um, comes in a box of 10. I'm actually working on my second box of 10 in the last two oh, that's weeks. That's interesting how it comes in. I didn't know it came in a box of 10. Yeah, all, yeah. Of, all the Kulavaris come in boxes of 10. That's really smart Reasonably for priced, yeah. I think, $70 for a box of 10. Yeah, right, exactly. There. Give or take a mm. few bucks. Um, so, you know, you're talking about 7 bucks a stick. A really smooth, balanced, easygoing smoke that I'm just enjoying early in the morning. Well, exactly. Midday. That cup of coffee, um, isn't that great? Yeah. It has a nice, you know, seed of spice that builds. Um... Really, a lot of good toastiness. Um, I said certainly box worthy, maybe two boxes since I'm yeah, it, so it, it, It's smart because you look at a ten uh, a ten count box, and if you're a, a B and M, you turn around. Oh wow, I just blew through ten boxes. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's only five. Yeah, yeah, yeah so really, it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's a smart move, a marketing type. I agree with scenario. that. It's really smart, and you can't go wrong. I, I agree wholeheartedly. So I'm just going to, as much as I like the smoke, I'm going to say something about this. I know that, where that you're kind going of to, I, I saw your post on BOTL about yeah, it. Yeah, so. it kind of annoys me that it's uh, they're ripping off the Partagas bands. Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. And then both, the, both, yeah. both this blend and the other blend that looks exactly like the PSD4. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, well, you can say that about with Pete with the J21. Yeah, absolutely. You can do the same thing. You can say the same thing. All and right. they're not the only ones to do it. Yeah, right. I know. I, it's I, just I, I mean, they're, they're like the most creativity. Yeah, that's, that's all I say. Yeah, you know? yeah it's too, no, great point. Great point. I mean, but sometimes well they can go the other way. When they have creativity, they'll put like this light blue color. What was the Rocky Patel that came with the oh, blue? Oh, the baby blue. It, it comes like, with a baby oh, blue on the it's band. It's Habano. It looks like Friggin something. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. The presentation, I mean, if you want it to stand out, make the cigar taste really good. Forget the goddamn band. I yeah. will say that about these smokes. They are very good. It's just a, a little thing that was annoying. No, I, 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 I know you're going thing. with it. I mean, but sometimes it is what it is. I'm going to have to revisit I have those. a little bit of an art background, so that's yeah. kind of, yeah. maybe that's kind of where it is. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it's a point well, well taken, no doubt. And that's a uh, Nicaraguan <laughs> natural wrapper with <laughs> Nicaraguan binder and filler, just for those who want to know. Nice. So I smoked a, a Gurkha Beauty. They yeah, all, you yeah. gave me one of these a while back. They also have a, a Beast as you well. You gave me that yeah, as well. The, not a big the Beauty is the... Uh, uh, the lighter Connecticut, Connecticut shade, shade wrapper. Yeah. Uh, it's an extra Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut uh, Dominican uh, binder in Nicaraguan filler. 
Uh, it's a six and a half by 58, so it's a pretty large <laughs> ring gauge. I like um, your last line there. And sometimes, you know... What was the last line? I know, I want to... No, 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 wait so till I'll, he says I'll, it. I'll, oh. read, I'll read my description. Oh. Yeah, let Paul go there. It's pretty, there. it's pretty vivid. Uh, so sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, and that's really just what this one was, the cigar. I wanted our listeners and readers to get a feel for experience, right, when it comes to smoking a cigar. And there was just nothing special about the experience with this one. It presented average flavors... Nothing jumped out at me like spice or sweetness or really anything. It was just a cigar. Lots of smoke, nothing exciting. I say try one. It will make you excited about the other cigars in your humidor. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I got to be honest, man. The one you gave me, I couldn't even finish it. It was just... Boring. Right. Boring, wait, wait, right? Wait, 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 boring. Right? One mouth. <laughs> Did I, I said, well, I said try one. It wasn't, it was, ter- it wasn't it terrible. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't terrible, terrible, but All I right. said try one just so you can gain appreciation for the other stuff in your it's humor. It's true. I, I smoked <laughs> about two inches of it, and I threw it in the ashtray and lit something up better. Yeah. And enjoy yeah. whatever I was I, smoking afterwards. So it was. It uh, wasn't horrible. Yeah. I mean, I finished it, but mm. it was, you know. Yeah, I think probably if I hadn't chosen yeah. Friday night to smoke it, then... uh. Oh yeah! If it was like a Friday night, I had the long week. I, I had no patience. Oh for it. yeah! I, I was, was like, no, I'm this was like I was like in the middle of the day. I, I came out here at lunchtime and 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 had one. So yeah, was, whatever. Uh, Tim, right. back to you. So yeah, more Pete Johnson, the Surrogates Crystal Baller. Uh, this is a large box press Corona Gorder at five and three quarters by fifty six. Uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. Burn draw good. A lot of rich earthy. Um, it's a rich earthy profile with some hints of coffee later on. I thought it was good and worth trying, so I said try one. I would reach for the tramp stamp any day over this one, though. I've heard that about all of them, to be honest with you. That the tramp stamp is the bell of the ball. Yeah. Um, I like. The I tried the the bone crush or skull breaker. Yeah, yeah. What did you? So think it of made that? Paul turn green, and then I smoked it, and it, it, I don't know. I just I thought it was really enjoyable. Actually, it had nice spice. It wasn't. Yeah. Uh, it, just, it didn't kill me the it, way it, it I was here me. with you that day, and you saw look at my face yeah, when I was smoking it. Like it looked like that's I was interesting because you smoke so much opus, and that's so yeah. strong. Yeah. That, I, yeah. it, but it was, I don't know if it was the strength plus the flavor profile was just really in your face. A lot of spice. I don't. Of I don't right. personally. No, that, like that. that was like the yeah. Milano, the little. Uh, yeah. Oh, similar so. to that experience. Yep. That is awesome. Oh, my lips. Which, are I'm sorry. Which one is this? on my. It's on my list. The Milano, the little short. It's like well, a Corona. Sure. It's corona. a petite, uh, petite Corona. A petite Corona. Okay. Thank you. Holy number four. Shit, number four. Number That's four, holy. Right. Good lord. I was one of the strongest cigars they put well, out. That's gonna age really, yeah. really. Well, I, 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 I think fantastic. To be honest with you. Yep. We'll revisit that. It's on my list. We'll, we'll talk a little more about that because I think it's. Uh, oh, we got emails. We got emails for the contest already. Already. <laughs> we got more than one too. Wow. Nice. Uh, EP Carrillo Atlantic Cigar 15th Anniversary. This is one uh, I bought. Actually, bought a bunch of the 15th anniversary stuff from Atlantic Cigar. My father uh, did a 15th anniversary for Box them. Box Press, yeah. Oliva did one, which is a Diadema, uh, and E.P. Carrillo did one. And I think that was was that it. I think it no, was there it. was a um, there was one more uh, Viaje Exclusivo Lancero, yes. Yes. which oh, literally sold, sold out, out in the first yeah, day. Yeah, it came yeah, it out. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I looked to get and, that and, one. You know what's funny, Mark? I, I, that's funny you said that. The I, I went back and I wanted to see what kind of reviews. That the um, the little shorts on the Viaje. Um, the shorts that you and I love? Yeah. I Some people put, don't like them. Oh, they were killing it. Killing that cigar. I, 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 I don't I, get I think it. they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I can understand if it's all about price. I understand that because it's they are crazy. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're like almost, what, eight bucks? Yeah, they're eight bucks. Get, okay. Give or take wherever you're, you know, again, not to get on the, the tax situation, but I can see if you're in New York and it's like a... Well, dollars for that cigar, I wouldn't do it either. But yeah, I love them. I buy them it's five a, at a time, and yeah. when they're gone, I'm gonna be pissed. Bye bye. So, <laughs> so first uh, email, yeah, from Michael M. He says the J is for Johnson, and 21 is the number of people in his family. Wrong, wrong. Okay, Sec- wrong. <laughs> I like it. Second email, Adam L., who we know as ATL, I believe. What up, Adam? Uh, the only thing I found, J is for Johnson 21 is Pete's favorite number. Almost. Almost. Not quite. Okay. Half right. Well, it must be half right yeah. there. There you go, folks. Guess again. Yeah. Um, we might have another one coming in, but we'll get to that. I'm um, ha- half right and half left. So uh, the uh, 15th anniversary EP Carrillo for Atlantic Cigar. The stick was a great cigar. Awesome complex flavor. 
The Brazilian wrapper, I just think, really contributes to the, the great flavor profile yeah. uh, that's there. These are going to age really well. I think they need a little more time to reach their full potential. They were released in July of this year. Um, I still think they need a little more time to kind of settle down. I got, like, the flavors were just a little, like, unbalanced. I think once it settles down, you'll be able to pick up those subtle flavors. Give six it, to nine months, you think? It, 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 but it makes a lot of changes. It's a very complex cigar, yes. and it, you really have to pay attention to it when you smoke it. Um, first two thirds were awesome, and uh, lots of hints of chocolate and some spice. Final third was just okay, not anything really memorable, but I, I really liked it. I thought it was a great Carrillo cigar. Very and it, what I think we were talking about is all his cigars are so different. Like, yeah, and, and, and uh, this is a very different representation. It's not going to be like anything other Carrillo you smoke. See, this is what I think, Ernesto, because I was talking with him last week, and I and I brought it up to his attention. I said, "You are amazing." Because think about something, or Pepin. You got you 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 can pick out a Pepin. You can pick out a Pete. You can pick out a Padron. Not just because of the size of the or box press. But and that's the profile. Yeah, yeah. If you would have smoked that four kicks, would you have any idea that yeah, was Ernesto? Yeah, Carrillo. Yeah, he's yeah. always outside the box, always changing, mm. always bringing something new Creativity. to the table. Now, if you would have took that label off and smoked that short run, would you ever think that was Ernesto? Yeah, and he's he's unbelievable. I, I, to my uh, and I nine think, out of ten times he rocks it too. Yeah, exactly. that's the thing about it. I mean, yeah, he's, he's pretty much on point with everything. Yeah. Phenomenal. I mean. I don't even know uh, lint my belly as much as he knows about cigars. He's an amazing man. They're all amazing, but Ernesto to me is is is, is he's amazing. a true artist. He, that he, guy. he is. Yeah. He is. Yeah. So the Atlantic one, uh, the Carrillo, is a Brazilian wrapper, like we said, Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. It's a six by fifty-two Toro. A box of ten is one hundred and twenty bucks. Box worth. Oh, I all think day something long. that could be mentioned too is is uh, oh, I said there's split, a lot. I said split a box with a friend. It could easily be box worthy or split. I mean, yeah, I could go either way with that one. I know having a whole box of them is. I mean, I don't think it's going to be anything like a lot of his special releases, um, but it's certainly but very still, good. No, I, I, I kind of enjoy the experience of having different Maduro wrappers, right? Because there's more and more mm-hmm. coming coming out now. Um, I'm not a big Christoph fan in general, but they have this GC series one that has a Brazilian wrapper on it, and I think it's the best thing the that he case. makes. Yeah, yeah, it's called I'll, the GC. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what that is afterwards, after the show. I got something to tell you on that. Okay. Um, to, to interject something, I'm just wondering, listeners, if they if they want to chime in on this and, uh, of course, our elaborate crew that we have here. We have some, you know, uh, much-anticipated uh, cigars coming down the line. What I'll, I'll ask uh, our initial crew in here, what oh, are I'm you waiting for that. right now the most? Headley Grange. Paul? Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the Headley Grange coming out. I, I would put yeah. that up there on the top of my list. I'm, yeah. Headley, I, I'm, I, I'm there too, but I cannot wait for that Cardinal series. I was going to say, I'm yeah. sorry oh, between yeah. the, Cardinal uh, the Cardinal. It's kind of flying under the radar right now, though. They're not that doing Cardinal, a lot of press releases no, that, on that, it. That Cardinal series, I'm Thank telling you, you it, I had them both. They're both different in their own way. And I'll tell you, at first I fell in love with his Connecticut Broadleaf. Totally different from, I, I think, from Pete's. It's he nice, he right? did something different, it's nice and, and, and yeah, I, I, like I, I just wondering if anything else. But those are the t- two top of my list. By the one that the listeners have, being regionalized in different parts of the country, there are different cigars out there. That a lot of people already have the Headley Granges, yeah, which right, we don't exactly. have. Which is oh, we're up in, uh, two guys. They they sold right out. They they were going. I was I got an email. I was going to grab them, and uh, as soon as they came in, they went out. Wow. Oops. You got that? You help, Oops. Paul? Oops. Okay. Yeah, Stogie Santa just looks crooked. I will, uh, while you fix that, I'll move on to my okay. next one. No, we're good now. Okay. All right. Uh, I think this is the last of Pete's new stuff. This is the Lap 54. Um, oh, I'm off screen here. Let me pull it down. Got Let- multiple pictures. L'Atelier Lat 54. You got it. This is a 5 and 5 eighths by 54 Parejo, uh, Ecuadorian wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. And it's got a nice band on it. I have It has say. a beautiful it's band. It's classy. Black, yeah. gold, and white. Very classy. Nice yeah. leaf on the front. I like it. Don't know the price of these offhand. Uh, uh, eight, nine, and $10 yeah, uh, right. for the okay. three sizes. Right. And they're big ring gauges, too. Aren't they 54, 56, 58? No, 52, 52 54, 54, 56. 56. That's it. Okay. They're the same sizes as the Bahique. That's right. That's what they were styled at. So yeah, this absolutely. is the Bahique. Well, you yeah, have same colors. I hate to use the, the word. Size. Yeah, right. You don't want to use that word of knockoff. But is it, right is back it, to what we're talking about you saying before. 
Your the bands that, do band. have yep. a similarity with the yeah. the gold. Is it styled yeah. after the fake Bahike that I smoked or the real one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That band or that fake one was pretty darn good, man. It was. I'll tell you <laughs> something. That was. I'm pretty sure that might have been a real band. I don't yeah. know. I didn't see the hologram. Oh, the band, the band was, yeah. was... was a real cigar, though. Yeah, it was. Well, it was a real cigar. It just wasn't a real... He gets it going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least you didn't pay for it. Right? That's true. It was <laughs> a gift. That's the best part. So, um, mild to medium in strength. Had a flavor profile. I said a mild sear, a little spice, some underlying floral notes I got here and there. Uh, construction was good mm-hmm. overall, but I found the profile a bit bland for me. And I, I smoked it on a fresh palate because I knew it was going to be mild. Um, I'm going to revisit again. I only smoked one. In the meantime, I said try I, one. I grabbed a couple, and I think they're a the good stick. It um, wasn't bad. It wasn't I thought bad. it was I mean, a fiver. It's a fiver. Now, my Mark mind. Jr., you said you really enjoyed it. I did. I, I really enjoyed mine, actually. Yeah. I tried the 52, yeah. and I thought it was a really good smoke, actually. I thought it performed well, which you would expect from a Pete Johnson cigar. Absolutely. It performed um, perfectly. Yeah. Uh, I thought the flavor was uh, unique and good. Yep. So, in my experience, the ex- in my opinion, the experience was was worth it. Maybe I'll go down to one one wing gauge and see if that makes a difference too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Size matters. Yep. Nice. <laughs> no no comments on that one? <laughs> I let it go. <laughs> Me too. Uh, we, we, already, we already hit that joke today. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, La Aurora Preferitos Diamond. This is the new mm. Preferitos. I can't wait to smoke this actually. La Aurora Yes, uh, yummy broadleaf, baby. This is now my favorite La Aurora Preferito, hands down. I mean, it really, really? wasn't much of a question for I, me. And I, I just, with, with time, I'm, I'm going to oh, tell you man. something. It tops the Maduro, tops the Ruby. Yeah, At least has the potential. It, to, I mean, the aged Maduro, the aged Maduro. Like I said, it, yeah. those those are the cool back well. end of it, the back end of it, just like I said, the last maybe two inches got a little sour on me. Wonderful coffee oh, notes, rift, roll, spice. I mean, just perfectly Everything balanced. Uh, except for the price. I mean, the price is like what? Eighteen dollars. Bad. Eight, yeah. yeah, it's bad. Ugh. Yeah, the price is bad. Um, but a Aurora isn't. Yeah, Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. they're uh, the price <laughs> on auction. They're good. <laughs> I know. There you go. Yeah. Give it two months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's tough to rate this because the price is so high, I and agree. the only and it's not so much the flavor and the smoking experience because that's all there. It's the size yeah. to pay eighteen dollars for a. Five by fifty-four, it's just expensive. You don't get a whole lot. I mean, they do smoke very slowly. I will say you right. do get. I mean, out of that, five as by all 50, the preferitos yeah. do. To be and honest. as you can yeah. see from the picture right there, I mean, the construction Impeccable. that preferito size just holds the ash. That's incredible ash, yeah, man, for it, a preferito for a perfecto. It's a meat. nice ash. Yeah. Um, so it's, let's see, uh, Look at Connecticut, the ash on that one. it's a nice ash, <laughs> Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Dominican Maduro binder, and the filler is Dominican Republic. Uh, it's again, it's a double perfecto. Right. Now the MSRP is $20. Um, boxes of eight are listed as $160. The 50% flat tire gave it a 90 in their review. Uh, that's a good, which think, is high I, for them. I, yeah. I, I mean, our rating, I put it as a uh, split a box for the friend, but that's taking price into consideration. It's a box of 10? Eight. 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 Yeah. Okay. I still say split at that because I. It, it, once that's a go, lot of coin for eight. Once these go on auction, though, for half of what their MSRP oh, is, then you buy them all day long. Like I said, wait three disappear. months here. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, that may uh, be uh, part of their strategy or something, but. Yeah. Whatever. What's going to yeah. happen uh, six to eight months down the road? These things, and when they do hit the auction, they're gonna fly. They're gonna absolutely fly. And, and I tell you, you're gonna age these, and they're gonna be out of. They're, they're gonna, gonna be oasis. They're oh, gonna be oasis. oasis. Yeah. Yep. I haven't smoked mine yet, but I can honestly say Wait. the wrapper is absolutely it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The tubo yeah. is absolutely the presentation gorgeous. Is, yeah, it's the a, band is absolutely gorgeous. The presentation, hands down, yep. one of the best presentations. And that I've probably seen reflects on the price too. Um, but yeah, it's a it's sexy looking. I mean, honestly, you in do the it, tube, out of the tube. Yeah. I mean, it's just sexy looking. You did away with the tube sexy. and saved me four dollars. <laughs> I'd be happy. Yeah, but I yeah. understand where they're yeah. coming from with the marketing of it. Yeah, so that's like the preference when I did with the uh, Cameroon. You should see inside the box. They had like a little. Canvas tied oh, to it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, just everything they do is, is, nice. is presentation. They are top notch. They I agree. Something. They I are. tell you what, they're the large Cameroon preferito. I saw one of those in my human. The number ones. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Are, oh man, those are really good. The Best ones? Cameroon. Oh hands no, down. the the uh, Lancero. Yeah, well, I'm talking I mean, about best, the La Aurora yeah. Preferitos Cameroon. That's yeah. Cameroon. Lancero. Oh, oh, regardless agree. of the no, size. Cameroon, yeah. hands down. There is nothing. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, they, the Benji is pretty Cameroon. good, but that's not a thing. 
no. same That's situation. a very different cigar. It is. Yeah, it, it is. is. It, it, it is. You wouldn't, the first iteration of the Benjis is awesome. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, how did everyone's uh, on Bandit go? Good. I got a sweet flavor that kind of came and went. Yeah. I, a little like bit the last, spice and pepper. I think I may be wrong because the last, at the very end, it didn't remind me of a, my, uh, any kind of my father did it. No. no. My drug got a little tight, but it's much sweeter in the end than it was mm-hmm. in, the, in the beginning. That pepper is completely dissipated. Yep, yep um, exactly. It's really good. Are you guys ready to reveal it? Are you guys yes. finish it? So Why don't you do yours first, and then we'll finish okay. ours. So Stogie Santa. Any guess is Stogie Santa. Some kind of a Corona uh, from my father factory. It's, okay. a, it's a cigar. That's his guess. That's yeah. his guess. Okay. Big Pete. Uh, Drum roll. And he's in, the, he's in the chat room, so he's listening live right Drum now. Drum roll the paper. Big Pete, thank you very much for sending in the... This is uh, made in Nicaragua. This is uh, Ecuadorian Habano Rosado. Wrapper. Wow. This is a Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's a 5x42 Corona, released on June 9th of 2012. And this is the My Father Corona. So you have uh, factory right. He says, Santa, Tim, and Paul, I enjoy these smokes. Personally, I thought it was a great smoke. Oh, I, I agree with you. Peter, already thank you, Peter, Peter, boxes, Peter. And you can get them at uh, cigar.com if you're interested. If he's listening, is this the limited edition Corona that they did? I don't know. I'll, will Peter come in uh, tomorrow? He's in I'm the sure chat, he'll shoot he's something He's in the chat there. room, so I'll ask him. Uh, I believe this is, uh, it looks like from the format of the review from 50% Flat Tire, um... And there's a, a lot of stuff uh, written here about it. Um, there's uh, aged leather, sour, racist, cubana, uh, uh, there's a different pepper, cold draw, has some cocoa. Um, cocoa? It's the uh. second, uh, which will cool down a tad. Final third is continued to be a noticeable shift in fruitiness. Adding, I would agree, fruity, yeah. toasty in the end, yeah. And ATL says they had them on the Devil site for $69 a box the other day. What's the Devil site? I'm not sure. I'm Pretty sure it's CI. Cigars International is Pete the devil's says, side. says yes, it's a limited edition. Yeah, cool. I'm glad they're really good because I've been seeing them on auction and I was thinking about CI, picking up yeah. a box. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty good. Well, what's the price? Does it list, doesn't list the price. I, right I, would, I would say something six. Yeah, they're like s- less than 70 a box. Yeah. Uh, 2000, $69 the other So day. these were uh, 2,000 boxes of 12 cigars, uh, 24,000 total cigars. For those that are into math, uh, it looks like you got a score of 91. Um, I thought it was good. I don't know if I would rank it as high. I give it a solid 88. Yeah, I, I'd say it's a fiver. Mm. At that price, I'd say, yeah, you're probably right. It's five Peter, Peter, years. thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pete. Thank you very much. So. Are you, are you guys ready? Unbanded C, guys, what do you think? I thought it was a very good smoke. It was uh, medium bodied, in my opinion. I did end up picking up some of that uh, coffee that you guys picked up a little bit uh, later on in the smoke. The, the spice that I had went away. Mm-hmm. Um if I had, I, I, I'm going to hold off on my guess till I have to think a little bit more. Now, mine kind of went a little funky on me, but I think it was the Belvini. Because when I switched over to the Cognac, it came back on me. So, uh, Ben, what's your I guess? I don't think it was a cigar. I think it yes. is a My Father, though. None of these guys are even making guesses. It's in your best interest to make a guess. My Father, but... I'll, you don't know which one, though. Yeah, I think it's a Pete Johnson. I'm going to go with Pete Johnson. Really? I, I'm going to pull one out of left field. Maybe it's that new Flor de Las Antillas. Okay. I don't know. Let's go. Tim? No clue. Anything? I think it's from the My Father Factory, and I think it's a Habano wrapper. Um, and the reveal yeah. is Cigar C, right? Is that what you guys saw? Cigar, Cigar C, C from Making sure it's the right one. And. Oh, wow. I saw the band. You guys saw the band. We were so off. We were <laughs> way off. Wow. You guys smoked an Oliva V number four at a price tag of $4.95. It's a 5x43 Series V number four. I knew I had smoked it before. <laughs> it's a good smoke. Nice. Thanks. I'm yeah, into it. Nice. It's good yeah. smoke. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think I've ever had that one. I have. You I'm just, not sure I've had the number four, but I've had, I've had the torpedo. I've smoked a the lot of those Series Vs. Yeah. They, they were one of my favorites. They the come beginning. in a little small box. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're good. All right, Tim, back to you. Uh, my last one was the Quesada uh, Dagger, and we already talked about yeah. it. So uh, what do you have left? Um, why don't we do this? Why don't we take um, a short little break here so we can all light up new cigars? Yeah. Um, good. I think that we'll just take a little break, regroup, and I'll come back, review a few more cigars. And I want to come back, and I actually want to talk about the difference between flavor and taste. See if we can talk about that and have a little discussion. So, we'll be right back. 
Oh well. Ain't that a shame. Yeah, well, you got it. Stogie Fresh Five Podcast, and you're listening to the Geeks, the Stogie Geeks, with Tim and Paul. Kick back and enjoy as the Geeks kick ash each week. Listen in to the regular episodes as they smoke and chat about the weekly list of Stogies. And now, back to the Stogie Geeks. Going another unban- I'm gonna go. You know? Yeah, we're we're back here on the Stogie Geek Show. We're lighting up some new cigars. Just really quick, everyone, please visit our website www.stogiegeeks.com. All the latest reviews, all of our podcasts in audio format, video format, all the cigars that we've been smoking, you can find on our website with a rating. If you want to know all the cigars that the Stogie Geeks crew have rated the Oasis, you can go to our website, click the link, and bam, right there, you can see every cigar that we rate in high regard so please visit our website and um listen to our show and tell a friend so we're uh or two right we're uh lighting up something new here and uh continuing just uh we're gonna finish up talking about the cigars of the week and we're gonna talk about i want to talk about the difference between flavor and taste i don't know that was just something that came to mind and i don't even think formal but since we have everyone in the crew here uh i wanted to talk about it uh i've lit up now listener uh, alex Yes. Uh, sent us in some uh, unbanded and regular cigars as well. He sent some treats. So he said that uh, he would already know who would choose to smoke the Opus X, and that would be me. So I'm smoking an Opus X Lost City Torpedo because um, I love the Lost The Lost City blend is very special. Okay. It's not that over-the-top, in-your-face Opus No, absolutely strength. not. We'll go, yes, I thought about smoking and blowing smoke in your face while I did it, but mm. honestly, I, but I, grabbed I it wouldn't enjoy it. Anyone could say anything, <laughs> I grabbed it, and I'm lighting it up now. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, let's go around Stogie Santa. We're going to be doing the fine and rare. Is that this year or last year? Oh, I'm sorry, this year. Okay. That's by Alex Bradley. Alex Bradley, correct. And there's 10 different tobaccos in that? Supposedly, yeah. 10. 10 different blends in this now the new one uh, i have it right up here on the uh on the screen this comes from cigar aficionado the 2012 fine and rare is a torpedo measuring six inches long by 52 ring gauge yeah. made in honduras at the Racis cubana factory which also makes the alec bradley prensado which cigar aficionado says oh is our cigar of the year Viaje. yeah um oh. so the new fine and rare has the same name as the original and the same honduran wrapper Grown in the region, known as Trohase. The rest of the blend has been tweaked. Um, it, the, I quote, uh, we thought that the with the 10 tobaccos, we could continue to play with it, said the brand owner, Alan Rubin, uh, on August 14th interview with Cigar Insider. Now, I'm going to go on a limb and say this one was Oasis for me. Okay. I don't know what it was about this. Day. Mark Jr. was here when I smoked it. Sure and did. You saw my excitement and exuberance. He was uh, I, uh, giddy. It was, it I was would giddy say with giddy. excitement. Uh, I just, I, I, the first third, well, I don't know. I don't want to ruin it for Stogie Santa. The first third had this flavor that I could only identify as this one particular thing. And I, I couldn't believe I was getting it from the cigar. And it was a flavor that I identified with very much so. Um, and it was just awesome. Now, I don't know if you're getting this flavor yet, but I've told you what it was, what I got from it. And I don't know that 
People say it can be different. For me, it was pumpkin. And, and, and I recognize that flavor because we've been drinking all the pumpkin ales that come out this Especially time in New year. England, yeah. yeah. Pumpkin coffee, pumpkin and ale, I took pumpkin in that, this, pumpkin that. All throughout like that pumpkin? first third, I, I would, love pumpkin. I would, ta- I would take in the smoke. I would I retrohale too, it. <laughs> and I tell you what. You're beautiful, Tim. I got, I got pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was, and it was a damn good representation of that pumpkin flavor for me. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Uh, the pumpkin flavor does dissipate, and the uh, second third has a nice kind of toasty flavor, a bit of spice. The final third finishes very strong, uh, much more pronounced flavors, but just an outstanding smoke. You're not getting pumpkin. I can tell by the look on your face. You're like, what but the? But it could be this, too, because I what got a little you... bit of spice off that. Is it still drinking the Balvenia? You... Yeah. I was going to say switch to the uh, Cognac, because I had yeah. the same experience with the last smoke with the, the Balvenia. Yeah. The Balvenia's got a little spice to yeah. it. It messes your palate up. It's a tough scotch to pair with, uh, yeah, with this cigar. So. I got pumpkin. And you guys, I mean, and our listeners know me, right? I'm not one to pick out really strange flavors from cigars. And I was like, dude, that's definitely pumpkin. I don't know. Hey, they go <laughs> it with it, man. just me. I, I, get to, I get toasted marshmallows from the Elohios, just like Ben Lee says. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so Tim, what did you light up? So I, uh, it's funny because the chat room's going on and on about how you can keep your opus and still have anejos instead. And that's exactly what I lit up. It was an anejo. I want to say this is a Corona Extra. It's a 46. Yeah. yeah, I want to say this is a 46, yep. Uh, again, thank you, Alex. This was in the gift uh, yep. of all the smokes he sent. Um, fourth cigar of the day, so I decided to go with something that I knew was going to have a lot of flavor. Yeah, yeah. Añejos do. And I still come back to the shark. I have, they age unbelievably, too. Yep. Yeah. I have Añejo sharks from the 2010 batch, mm-hmm. and they are just, and I've talked about them on the show, right? I mean, they are just amazing, amazing. And I can honestly and you see say, the ash that hangs off. I mean, it the, is going perfectly with this cognac right now. It, it just, yeah, it does. It does, I can see that going well. It's cognac. just, yep. it's matching right up. Yep. I'm really digging it. So thank you, Alex. Um, and it looks like it might have some age on it by the looks of that wrapper. But hold it up. Yeah, the band looks like it's got uh, been around the block. So, Mark Junior, I fired up the uh, Skull and Bones uh, Daisy Cutter that I oh. just traded for. Mm. Thank oh, you for the trade, Mark. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, kumbaya. Nice. I think, Ma- I think Mark Jr. thinks so. <laughs> are, are you guys going to hug now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Mark Jr. thinks I'm a sucker, actually. <laughs> so what did you trade? I traded him two uh, Monte Cristo number twos from 2005. No, yeah, that's a fair trade. Right, more than yeah, I thought. Yeah, so. was, yeah, I thought absolutely. it was more than fair. Yeah. Thank An you. age money too is magical. Yeah, and I have never had one, so that might actually you're going to be spoiled. <laughs> I might actually have to review that for the site since I have more than one, and I um, yeah, I've had some age money, one or two age money twos, and that they the are first release, or the second release of the uh, first. DC guy? That is the first, the Very original. Nice. Now, Ben, what did you light up? Uh, I lit up something that uh, Tim gave me uh, today is a uh, Hoya de Monterey Cuban. Uh, the day do you? Mm. I remember on the show, I never smoked one. Tim promised me to bring one, bring me one, and uh, I'm enjoying it. They're fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's uh, one of those smokes that I couldn't stop smoking, and I think I have five left from oh, the box God. I bought two months ago. <laughs> With a cup of coffee? Oh, they're incredible. In the morning. I, I can top, hold on top to three. Age. You gave yeah. me one that was aged. I, I can't do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah. Honestly, they're, they're smoking. The they smoke so good. That was yeah. new. Old. Those are a year yeah, old. I was old. I was old. So, and they're oh, smoking yeah. so good. And that's from a historically bad year of Cubans, too. Yeah. And it was yeah. still yeah. awesome. It 98. Was, oh, yeah, that is a historically bad year. Oh, I have so. to say, probably with coffee, that's one of my top three cigars I have with coffee. I agree. It's up there. Magical. Yeah. Uh, I lit up uh, Alex, uh, listener Alex sent us some cigars, and uh, I think you pretty much said that the, the Opus X, up. the Opus X Lost <laughs> City uh, had my name on it. I saw it in there, and I, I grabbed it, and I said, well, he wanted me to have this, so I lit it up, and I Well, the right note now. did say there's a pool going on who grabs the Opus, so yeah. I'm not sure who would bet against no you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who would bet it, yeah, right? Who would bet against that? And now I'm smoking it, so, and it's very good. I love the Lost City blend because it has those... Some of the Opus flavors, um, but it's not over the top, no, like, well, strength. It's, kind of, it's what only Opus I know has got creaminess to it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more subtle, creamy. I would agree with that. Yep. Some people don't like the Lost Cities, I no. think, because it's so much different. Well, than I think people that really, they expect, <laughs> if Opus, you expect the Opus right. flavors in the Lost City, you're, you're not looking in the wrong place. So um, That's a toned down Opus. That's a nice, that's a perfect cigar to introduce you to an Opus. Yeah, so I rated the Alec Bradley Finding Rare 2012 uh, Oasis, and it was my smoke of the week. 
Uh, Tim, I don't know what your, if you had a smoke of the week, but I, I have to tell you. I had some real duds in there, actually, to be honest, this yeah. past week. You know, actually, the smoke of the week is, isn't on my list. I was saving it for um, next week because I just smoked it last night. Um, and it was a three-year-old um, Podicus, um PS4. Nice. Um, which was just incredible. And honestly, the last time I had these, they just wouldn't draw right for me. <coughs> Bless you. Right. I want to say it's, it's something we all split. Um, and I got five, and, you know, you guys got, you know, eight or ten. Um, I think four out of the five I had just wouldn't draw right. Bobby. What's that? The Series G number four? Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one was dead hmm. on. It held a two-inch ash. It smoked perfectly. Um, the age really brought something else. I want to say I've gone through two boxes of Series G number fours, yeah. just oh, yeah. about. And maybe one or two had construction I, issues. I, I never had, that's one. I never had an issue. Not a one. Yeah. Bad luck on my pot, then you know. It but, is what uh, it is. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I mean, I'll I tell mean, you what, I, man. If if those originals had smoked like this, this one did, I would already bought a box. I, Hands I, down. I tell you what, it's uh, we've said it before. Everyone should have a box of series two number fours. Yeah, I mean, oh, absolutely. Just, and the price point so is, is reasonable. I mean, what you're talking six dollars a stick, roughly. So Stogie saying that you're not getting pumpkin from that. Am I, I, I off I, my I, rocker? I, no, you're not. Okay, <laughs> you're okay. Not. You get slight. Slight. You, there slight. is a pumpkin-ish You flavor. don't look like you're a fan of it, though. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I well, I mean, I give, give him some. This. I mean, he's only the little. No, no, no. Yeah, I, yeah. You know something? It almost, I, I can, I, I'm struggling to find it, but it's there. Mm. And I, what's killing it is, I agree with Tim, the spice in here. Is, the belt yeah, in here is, yeah, is, yeah, the scotch is overpowering. It down. Right. If you didn't <laughs> say pumpkin, i maybe not pick it up. But, yeah, but yeah. I, you, you may be crazy. We still have to. We, we need more time. To oh play. no, I, I totally agree. Because <laughs> I was smoking it, picking up on that flavor, going, everyone's going to think I'm crazy. But that was just the flavor I was getting. It was kind of weird. Yep. And and maybe it's because, like I said, we've sampled so much of the pumpkin ales, mm. um, and even the October, right. but even the October yep, Fest yep. beer has a a caramelish type flavor too that's very similar to what i found in that first third it was almost like a very syrupy pumpkinish flavor that i got in that in that first third so interesting i, I really it. enjoyed it though I, I tell you i got one at home i can't wait to try it. it it's i found it to be very good surprised me how good it was uh let's see if i've got any more on my list no that was the I one that, that was it yeah we that both had it. 10 we had the equal amounts this week we did i had i had smoked more but i, t- I tried to limit it to 10 um, well, I think it's a good number. Yeah, yeah. And if we're going to do a weekly show, then... Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, when I smoked a lot of uh, some of the things that we've talked about on the uh, show in the past, I did yeah. the EP Carrillo 2009, which has become like a go-to breakfast cigar. Um, you know, maybe you've had a light breakfast yep. and you have some coffee. You light one of those things up yeah. and they're just... And my, my favorite uh, go-to is, the, is that Illusion number four, the box press. Oh, my like those that. are awesome. Those are just... I'll tell you what, you could trick somebody if you took the label off that Padron esque, not spot yeah, on, yeah. but it's similar, not right. close, similar. Now, some of the other smokes I had was um, some quesada. We did on the show, we did the torpedo of the jalapa yep, on the yep. show. That's been one of my go to cigars as well, especially mm-hmm. in the morning with coffee. It's a great, mild cigar. Um, but I think really what takes the cake for me out of all the quesada blends that have come out recently, is that Espana. That Back is, to it. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. That Espana is it's something special, special man. It is. Yeah. Uh, the Coronas. We, yeah, we got some more. Coronas in. and did short you? Robustos, yeah. I got those in. They're too. just you did. awesome. Oh, I wish I'd known that when I was at the store early. <laughs> yeah. I like the short Robustos. I, did, I do have some construction issues with them, but I tell you what, though, that blend is special. Yeah, special. I agree. So much better than all their other stuff. Because I'll smoke some of their other stuff first, and then I'll smoke the Espana, and I'm like, oh my god. Well, I I almost put that as a turning point in Quesada for me, yeah, absolutely. At, because yeah, that, tri- that came out remember. because there was the Tributo and things oh. like that, which were not good, mm. just not good, right? And then I tried the Espana, which was really good. Then the Oktoberfest came out that year, yeah, and uh, I. I did like the first coup d'etat iteration, the Molotov. I thought I that was a really Molotov, good smoke yeah. as well. Molotov was good, yeah, absolutely. We did that on the show, I believe. Yeah, we did. So, 
I don't know. I uh, listening to uh, a lot of people talking right about flavor and taste and all that stuff. And I've been trying to mull it around. Body. My, yeah, I've been trying. And, but, and we can throw body in there too as a different component of what yep. you experience in a cigar. And I guess it comes down to my overall smoking experience. And there's a lot of things that contribute to. It. Like when I say, I think I was telling I mean, it was you, Mark Junior. That what I want to tell our listeners is. If I can't pick out all the distinct kind of flavors, like, yeah, I picked a pumpkin in that one, but whatever, who cares? What the listeners really want to know is what was my overall experience, right? And what comprises your overall experience? And I think some of the primary components of that are flavor and taste. And, and body certainly plays a, a role in that. But then I got to thinking, well, what is the difference between a, a flavor and a taste? Is there a difference? Are they two distinct things? Um, what's your guys' opinion on that? Uh, well... You think of flavor, you, you, you think of those little nuances yeah. of, uh, of pumpkin, spice, um, different nuances in a cigar. A taste to me is, is it a Nicaraguan? Is it, a, is it something that comes from uh, uh, the Dominican? Is taste more a, more a profile? A profile of I was going to say, it's yeah. more I, the overall profile right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, whereas flavor is a very contributes specific, to it I, right. so flavor is a specific thing that you identify with something else mm. it, right it, it comes down it ties into one word that we all use in here it's the balance yeah you got a flavor you got a taste a body a body to it and, and a strength and too, strength right, right. so yeah. you tie it into what yeah. balance so it, it's a component it's all those balance. things that need to that's, kind of that's fall my in line opinion. like yeah. the same now, when I'm picking up off this a little bit, you're talking about toastiness. This is where that it's, what, half inch in? Yep. That's where I'm getting right right here now. A little slight toastiness to it. So now, to me, that's a flavor. You know? So it, it, to, to sit here and to tell you. But now, can you qualify the toast? Like, a lot of people will, and I think what we see in the blogs, when we've talked about it in the past, people that pick up on those little nuances can you, and I can't do this with my palate, qualify all the time the toastiness of, like, what is it? Is it a, a breadiness kind of toast? Is it, like, the scent that you get when toast pops up in your, in, you know, in your toaster and you get that, you get that smell? Can you translate I've, that to cigar? I've always considered toastiness more of the, I don't know if you would say the finish on the cigar. It almost a like feel in your mouth. I, it's a I would, I would, I actually, I would identify with that actually. Yeah. Because when I get, yeah. I Same with more. creaminess. Same with, yeah. yeah. It's I was like just going to say yeah. feel yeah. of the smoke right. in your mouth. Right. Um, the way it covers it, the palate, the way it right. hits it. If it gets in the front part, the middle part, the back part of your of, of your palate or your tongue, mm -hmm. like I, I always call it the back nine, yeah. where I can pick up, that's right, that's where you're going to pick up all, a lot of your flavor, the back nine. You pick yeah. it up on the front. Where do you get your youngness? You don't get the youngness on the back of your tongue. What do you get right yeah, there? In the front. It's yeah. kind of like yeah. a funny feeling yeah. that you get in the in the front so of your it, tongue. It's, that's it's, like, ah. it's, it's all in, you know, that's, that, that's where, I, where I pick it up. I but mean, the, youngness right is, the youngness really isn't a, it's not a flavor. No, right? no, no, no. The no, youngness no, no. is more like a, a taste and a feeling. Right. Yeah. So taste is more associated yeah, with Yeah, but what do you pick it up? That's that, what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, that, you, that's how I would say, well, I don't think there's that much of a difference between flavor and taste, but. What I would differentiate, if you were going to say what's the difference, if you had to make a difference between flavor and taste, was flavor you, you can pick up, but it, it comes and goes. Whereas, like, you know, if you had, a, like, a really earthy cigar, mm -hmm. you can really sense it in your whole mouth. And mm -hmm. I, I think that's more of a taste where you can actually, you can feel it. Because sweet and sour is yeah. totally different parts of your tongue. Yeah. You yeah. Know of course. I mean? Yeah. yeah no, that's true. How closely does it relate to food? I think it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you think yeah. it's the same? You, oh, absolutely. Excellent... And scotch and wine and things of that nature. Too. It's the same yeah. part of your brain the way you taste a cigar, food, scotch, wine, right? Right, because in something like a cold, like Stokey Sander and I have, will mess with it. I yeah. mean, yeah. you no, it definitely smell, does. it comes I mean, in and, and you think about it, think when you say a finish, a long finish. What's a long finish? Yeah, I wanted to take take a step back and talk about finish and body a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, um, Tim, you've been talking about finish more and more lately, and you've... Um, You've kind of helped me correct myself when I say, you know, the finish on the cigar was X, Y, Z. I and always assume you're talking about the finish in your mouth. Yeah. You're talking about the end of the yeah. cigar. So, but there's, so there's ahead. a different flavor and taste you get um, when you inhale a cigar as to when you exhale it. And then what you kinda, lingers? You how go, long, you go like, you go like, how num, long num, 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 does it you know? linger on right. your palate? Yes. So if I said something that had a long finish, that to me, at least to me, 
that means the flavor has lingered for a long time. Right. Right and when you're, you're smacking your lips or mm. you're yeah. like that, mm. I'll tell, how, how many times have you smoked a cigar and then you put it out? Well, not put it out. You're done with the cigar. Yeah. When you're sitting here, you can still taste it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, for me, and, it, and I give kind of a, a novice cigar smoker um, a particular brand of cigar. And what he told me afterwards, he's like, that was one of the best cigars I've ever smoked. And he said, I didn't want to brush my teeth after. Because it was that aftertaste that was so good. And I gave him a Padron, like 1964, 26 series. And the, the, the aftertaste, as it were, was so good. He's like, I didn't even want to brush my teeth. And I noticed that with some cigars is that uh, finish will stay with you and you'll get almost this sweet flavor mm -hmm. in your mouth a long time after you smoke the cigar. That was very telling for me for finish, Tim, mm -hmm. as terms of what you're saying is on your palate what the finish is, yep. as opposed to what I typically refer to as the last third of the cigars, what I'll sometimes refer to as the, you know, as the finish. Now, to you, how does finish differ from body? I'm out of curiosity, Stokey Santa. But for me, finish, like, we'll go back to that, is what you're picking out, you're almost layers of, of the taste of what's coming in. Yep. With a body, to me, you can, body to me is almost like a cigar, is it, it's more of a strength. I mean, okay. body. That's what I think a body of a cigar is. See, I, I think uh, body goes towards, like uh, you've heard us all say, the smoke is kind of chewy. Mm, that's kind right. of smoke. So it kind of like, to me, body is like a, is like a it's like a, a feel, right? Yes. As opposed to a strength is, because for instance, right, I would also uh, characterize an opus as a medium body, but full strength. Yes. Yes. Right. Totally yeah. different. Or you can go something that's... Um, for instance, this this that I'm smoking now that it has a couple years of age on it, right? Yo, it's smoke. not terribly strong, but it has a lot of body to it. Yeah. That's how I would characterize it, right? Because chewiness to me is a lot of smoke. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I think chewiness to me. When I got a when you get a Well, I mean, you can even go further and you could separate volume from body, right? Right. I mean, there's wait, a wait, wait, there's we're, a feeling we're of the dissecting too way yeah. too much. The, the body is the feeling of the smoke in your mouth. How does right. it feel? This is how you end up with a review that has 1,500 words in it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get, you, to me, you get a Liga 9. Oh, God. Right? It's pouring the smoke. That's yeah. chewy to me. Yep. That's chewy. The feral know, pigs. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what I get out of chewiness. Now, the body I think there's a certain thickness yeah. to the smoke that contributes to the overall smoking right. experience that we're describing as body. And I think that's one of the major components of a cigar. And, it, and it's something that I think when it's a fuller body, it's a much more enjoyable experience, in, in my opinion. If the smoke's kind of thin, you don't, you don't get that experience. And, right? and, and that's what I'm saying. In, in a cigar, I think, in order to be enjoyable, has to have a good amount of body. It has to kind of let you know it's there, has to have a certain thickness to it. Um, yeah, I think that's important. I agree. Yeah. And separate from flavor and taste. So I think what we're saying is there's Come not a whole lot of difference Ooh, between flavor and taste. Oh, but the bottom line yeah. is to come down to balance. I think balance yeah. is the most important part of the cigar. But now strength is totally a different component. Oh, yeah. So that's almost taste. like the third component, right? right? Flavor and taste are kind of one. Body's another. Strength is totally different. Right. It's like you're saying, Mark, Mark said, Jr., right? An right? it, it opus X is extremely strong. But it's like a medium body. It's yeah. it's not a uh, the body is not as thick as a lot of other cigars. Right? Sure, I think so. And then you're going to pick your flavors and tastes out of that particular smoke. You may get a sweetness, sour, spice, and, and, and or, a lot has a components of flavor. The position and taste. of the leaf, how the how the leaf of the cigar is. You mm. just, if you're going from the front part, the back part of the leaf, you're picking up different you know, your body, your taste, mm. complexity. Complexity is another word. You know what I mean? You'll see yeah, the uh, complexity is the amount of flavor. The and amount taste? of flavors or the amount of chain ups, change up, change up, both. I, I, changes I in changes, flavor and taste. Changes in flavor. Yeah, yeah. I agree. What are what are some of the the foods or drinks that you can? And I'm thinking of the novice cigar smoker here, right? Who's trying to get their bearings on what they're experiencing in a cigar. What are some of the the foods or drinks that you can most easily translate to what you're experiencing in a cigar well i think um certainly some of the spices pepper yep cinnamon pepper is one yeah you know, certainly i've picked up pepper is very easy i think to pick up in a and cigar right? pepper, but there's red pepper, pepper white right, pepper exactly i i can pick up the difference in peppers mm, personally right. that's me personally very easily yeah um, meatiness. yeah meatiness a charness there is you know what i mean there's coffee 
<laughs> coffee is very easy. Yeah, 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 chocolate, one. chocolates. Um, for what? me, um, I can pick up a lot of different nuts easily, but yeah. I love nuts. There so is a, there's a nut there. <laughs> there's a nutty. There's certainly I got a, a couple of words. Nuts in your I, mouth. I set you up. <laughs> there's a, well, there's, I got nuts in your mouth. <laughs> There's a, chewy. <laughs> there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different nuts out there, right? Yeah, I mean, oh yeah. You know, a lot of them are sitting in this room right here oh, that, we, yeah. that we personally know, right? But and you're right. There are different components to the nuttiness kind of flavor. I but think, I think if you can, if you're a novice cigar smoker, right, and you want to say, okay, you know, I had some peanuts, I had some um, whatever cashews or whatever. Peen what? You, you get that. <laughs> Like you, get that, you get that. You get that flavor. Like well, saltiness is a different component yeah. altogether, yeah. right? And some cigars that's a lot more pronounced than others. Yes. I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, personally not a fan of that and, one. And, but, and, the, uh, one, one and I think you go either way, right? Either you really like the saltiness, or you don't. That's like the La Casita uh, by uh, Pete Johnson. It's all Connecticut broadleaf. I get like a cotton mouth off that dryness. I can't. Me. I can't take that. I, Dry, I, I, dryness, I think, is a totally separate component, yeah, right? It's like, I mean, you, there are certain cigars that are just going to be very dry. Mm -hmm. And it's not a flavor or a taste, no. and it's not a body thing. It's a feeling on your It's a feeling in your palate after the fact that mm -hmm. is, it presents itself as dryness. Right. So, And, and I think uh, the dimensions of your cigar is going to change. Mm. Like if you smoke a Lancero, you can't smoke that cigar like you're smoking a Robusto. Mm. No, not at all. No, it's it. So that that you know, and a torpedo. Think about it, me. Right? Yeah, here. yeah. Someone cuts a torpedo. They'll get a torpedo and they'll clip it off. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Right at the bottom, right over here. Right where it starts to taper. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You must just smoke a regular Toro. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's yeah. it's channeling that flavor. It's um, almost like a reduction. You're you're mm -hmm. forcing that flavor in your mouth. It's right. going to change it. It's like a box press. The, the uh, Ultra, Box Press Ultra and mm -hmm. the regular Ultra. Or they went back to the, the Mystery. The Box Press Mystery. Skull and the, Balls yeah, Mystery. Skull yeah. and Balls. Two totally different <laughs> smells. Excuse me, going horse here. This is not a bad thing, but... And uh, that's supposedly the same blend. Yeah, that, yeah, I, yeah. Talk, I talked to Andre about that. He yeah. said it's the same blend. Mm. Isn't that wild? So do you think uh, that the... Uh, when you do scotch and whiskey and bourbon... Do you think that the uh, the kind of I, I get a lot of fruitiness out of the? There's a great component right there. Yeah, it, fruitiness. There's a fruit. There's a fruit oh, flavor. Absolutely. Which uh, I, I identify at a high level, right? I mean, to get down into the details of it, I think is very difficult. Yes. But I often find that what you are drinking and what you are smoking have to kind of blend together, and certainly the fruitiness component definitely. Is one of those ones that you'll find in common with between a, a scotch or bourbon or whiskey Absolutely. and your cigar, right? So, what are some of the cigars that I think you should um, that pair the best with your scotch, whiskey, and bourbon? I actually, and, and there are differences between the three, certainly, so, but so. I go the opposite way. I choose the drink mm -hmm. on based on what I'm smoking. So, typically, typically, like for example, um, the sherry cask. Yeah. In the, um, help me out here. La, Qu La Quinta Rubin. Yes. Uh, Not the Quinta Rubin, but the. La Santa. La Santa. No, you're. Yeah, La Santa is a sherry cask. Yes. Uh, who makes that? Uh, Glamorangi. Glamorangi. Yeah. Uh, that, that reason, and reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. It has that fruity component. Yes. It pairs it's really a very strong fruity component. You're right. Well, with a Maduro. Yeah. I find it pairs very well with Maduro. So. One pairing that you hooked me up with uh, right when we first started uh, talking, yeah. actually, which is a spot-on one. If you guys ever come across Sam Houston American uh, yeah. whiskey. Yeah, that's got a strong American fruity whiskey, component. You're right. Is an awesome pairing with Maduro's, namely the Añejo. The it's, Añejo. it's a dynamite pairing. And Añejo Robusto, a glass of that, is just phenomenal. It blew me away. It, it, it enhanced the experience of both the whiskey the drink and, the, and smoke. the smoke. It just... Yeah, and here's a it's bad a, pairing is this Belvini and this. Yeah, <laughs> and it's really just experimentation. Yeah, right, because right? it's just too much spice on this Belvini. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Belvini is a tough scotch to pair up. Yeah, and I'm really not is. sure I've ever been successful at pairing you that. You kind of want to stick or stay away from the Isla scotches with anything oh. you're going to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, yeah. Yeah, although really the Islas, I'm starting to, to grow a taste and an affinity towards the Islas. It's, true. It's, um, I remember before you said you never I, I didn't like them at all, but now I'm like, Kind of turning that corner, and I'm is really it, no, trying to enjoy it. Is McAllen in uh, I, Eli 
scotch, or is that something different? That's Highland. That's, That's Highland. Highland, yeah. No, yeah. the That's Islas well are like Balmore, yeah. uh, Lagavulin, Lafroig. Yeah. Um, the, those uh, Ardbeg, Ardbeg is another one, yeah. Mm. Um, and they're all really good scotches, and I love them, but I would never smoke a cigar with them. No, I'm struggling with this. I wish another, I can't... another interesting one is in the summer, I am a huge fan of IPA beers. I love them. Yep. They will destroy any smoking oh, experience yeah. you have from the moment you l- open that beer. Oh, you're my closest, Sogi. Sure. Yeah, so, you know, it, you can independently like things and then have them really diminish the experience uh, as well. Uh, so what are some other pairings that you got? I mean, so we're talking about flavor, taste, body, oh, strength, easy fruitiness, one. citrus. Coffee. Yeah, coffee's, coffee's great. Pretty, we've talked about that before, right? Coffee yeah, is go, pretty easy. Cocoa, espresso flavor. Yeah, I think cocoa, if you get cocoa, chocolate, cocoa? coffee, espresso. I really enjoy that cedar spice with a cup of coffee as mm-hmm. long as it's not too strong. Um, I it's talked about the Curvari earlier. No, no it's interesting. Yeah. We, wood is definitely another you flavor yes. you can get from a cigar. But now we don't, don't eat wood, usually though. eat wood, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so this is the kind of... And leather is another oh, one, yes, too, yes, right? Yes, We're not always chewing again, on leather. Again, though, the sense, of, the sense of taste is very closely related to, to the sense smell. of smell. smell. Yeah. Right. We all know what leather smells like. Right. And when you taste it in a cigar, I think it's more of that... It's a relationship it's to a that relationship smell. It's a relationship to that smell. Yeah. Wood, I have a lot of trouble with. I can pick up cedar. I can sometimes pick up oak. Very rarely can I pick up other types of wood. It's been When rare. I pick up oak, it nails me right in the face. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, uh, it's like, it is oak. Yeah. I remember yeah. the first time it really, really punched me in the face, and it was with last year's Avion, and I lit it up, and I was like, holy crap, that tastes like, like a really oaky whiskey. You yeah, know, and, yeah, and it, yeah, like, yeah. It, it, like well, that's Chardonnay. a that's a good point, right? A lot of the wood flavors you'll get from the different scotches because they're uh, fermented in in oak or you know a aged, different kind yeah. of aged, aged or rather in, the, in yeah. a in a yeah oak cap. If you're into smoking meat, like a lot of guys are, I suspect. The different types of... Yeah, is that, well, you're going to go. There, go ahead. The two of you are looking at me. Is, is that like face down in bed? Or? <laughs> it's, it's, at, it's at the rest area off a of road. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how man. I am in a smoking That's meat. the third That's time kinda... tonight. That's the third time tonight I've Joking. set myself up. And the first few times you guys kept quiet. But I gutter, kept balls, yeah. gutter balls. Gutter uh, balls. Oh, man. Joking me. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kept quiet when you were talking about salty and creamy. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do you know that? I was like, like, you really like that? <laughs> um, I got a half a lung when I'm still. Smoking. Oh man, but um, I, I I know a couple guys who who love to smoke on the weekend, and um, I'm not talking about cigars. I'm talking about you know throwing something in the smoker and, right. and getting it going. Oh, it's really good. And I find that jerky they pick jerky. up. <laughs> the different types of wood type flavors in cigars easier than somebody like I would cuz I'm not into that I don't do that every weekend I mean but that's just my opinion you still not every not weekend, <laughs> not every I'm weekend. Gone. I'm I'm totally uh, I'm checked out it's, oh, we're not coming derailed <laughs> you know uh, I'm totally derailed that's what I am right now <laughs> derailed from the conversation Derail. We do have a couple more contest entries, though. Okay, oh, okay. let's hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, let's get let's back. Hear Save us, Tim. Save us. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? And I think they're both right. Um, and, and I, so who is the first submission? So Michael M. was the first to get it in. Don't know if we get one more guess, but the 21 was the jersey number. Yes. They always wore because they are always been into sports. Yes, that's the correct answer. Uh, Adam L., a.k.a. ATL, who's in the chat room, also got it right, but um, Michael M. beat him by a good 15 minutes. And, uh, no, Mike, hey, the jersey number, that's that's correct. Yeah. And what's the J? Did he say what the J stood for? Johnson. John, right? John, he Johnson. said that in the previous season. Right. Oh, Johnson, okay. but 21 yeah. was his jersey number. So um, I say Michael. Michael well done. M. Yeah. Michael, send us our, your Addy, and I'll get it to Stogie Santa, and we'll get that off to you. Very nice. Congratulations to Michael M. for winning. Now, what does he win exactly again? He's going to get every line of the PG Symphony. Symphony. And the symphony comes in a Toro? A Toro-ish. Which is five yeah, which they, which That's they, his first release. Is the that's Toro. the one we love, too. Yeah. The um, Connoisseur. 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 And then he's going to get the Symphony Salomon. 
He's got a short Robusto uh, and Robusto. the Bombone, the short Petit Corona, right? right? So he's going to get four cigars, yep. which are all equally freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah he's going to blow. Yeah, never mind. They're all he's awesome. He's going to do what? Never he's going to blow what? <laughs> what? No, he's going he's gonna to have that chud meat and blow. In all fairness, <laughs> ATL is saying that Michael told him where to go look. I think they all posted up in the BOTL. Made they did. They another. created a thread while we were on about it. <laughs> I think it's like So heads up to you guys. There's other great. contest going on there hey, now. I, so. I could have made it difficult, more difficult than Noea. What's the other one? He, uh, I forgot. He had the way. Unico. Unico and all the different numbers, all the letters. Does any listener know what that is? I know what it is. What? They all spell out his dog's name. Correct. So they all. The, fir- the first letter, yeah. letter of each one. The first of letter of all the sizes of the brown, brown label. The brown label. It spells out his dog's name. So. Fair enough. Cool. Was it like a Thank- chocolate lab to keep with the brown theme? Do we know what kind of dog it was? Uh, vaguely in the back of my mind, somewhere very deep, I do. But yeah, was a yeah. Shit too, so I guess any of our members that are uh, Saints and Sinners members would probably know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> On that note, I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me for listening. Oh, my throat. <laughs> And you better not, not the, be sick for Saturday. I know. It's not from the media. Yeah, either. before we go, I, I got to say something, actually. Yeah. Ben, congratulations yeah. on your new Congrats, gig. Congrats, my yeah. friend. Thank you. Salute. Thank you. Salute. Yeah. He's, he's going to be a male Cheers. nurse. Yeah. Ben's yeah. A, Unfortunately, a with a new position, Ben is moving south from us, but... Um, the wonderful gifts of Skype, I suspect, will bring you back on the show. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to do some uh, uh, reviews on um, some prominent cigar shops and local area nice. we'll, so. we'll bring you back in via Skype so yep. Ben's not there going you. anywhere yep. uh, except to south of us my first store is the Barclay Rack so I want yeah, to not too, I just want to go in and sit yeah. and see what it nice. is all about it's, it's not my, it's not too far buddy Ike up and uh, Nat Sherman so will do New York he may still be uh, go see here. my friend Chris in Philly at the Philly Smoke I, I, I get a list I'll go to all of them nice nice and don't forget Mike at Ferns and Flowers mm. <laughs> That's a little too far north. Do the rest areas say where you go? So two things: <laughs> smoke join CRA, CRA, join CRA, yes, and please. join your uh, local, uh, not so local for that matter, uh, forums, Cigar Pass and BOTL. Yeah. Yes. Yes. you'll find us there. We can have conversations. We can uh, have fun, guys. Take and care. thanks to everyone who sent in on bandits. We greatly and well, bandits and on bandits. Right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very, very, much. very generous Thank of you, you guys. We nice appreciate topic. it greatly. Yes. Take care, everyone. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.